Let me hit record. Okay, I've hit record. That's a good thing. Record has been hit. Okay. Are you going to do one of those three, two, one things for me? No. Why not? I'm going to, it's more of like a surprise attack. I'm just going to hit you with it. I'm about to hit a button over here. <laughs> Y'all know the button I'm about to hit. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No okay. pirates. Okay. No pirates. Okay. No pirates. Um, Give me a thumbs up when you're ready. I want one of these. Do I need to do anything as far as reading anything? No. Oh, you're doing the intro too? I got everything. Cool. It's all me. All right, then. Okay, let's hit it. Hold on, wait. Hit it, Wes! <coughs> and then cough. Okay. Get it out. <clears throat> Cell phone ringers off, too. Sorry, were you about to start? I don't even know where my phone is. I think I left it in the car. Okay. Ah, ah, sniffy. This episode is sponsored by Toasted Jelly, who's buying Brent's soul $10 at a time. He's got a long way to go. Wolf21, who says, always remember to rock on. And Rodri, who says, you're so happy you could ride a pig, but would you? The Shaft, episode 23, recorded on March 6, 2011. I'm Brent Copeland. I'm Wes Wilson. And I'm Eric Fullerton. And today we have Simon and Lewis from Yogg's Cast. Woo! Hello, Woo! Internet. Hello! <laughs> That's Simon. Simon. Hello. 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 They, they may or may not turn into robots during this episode. Spontaneously. A little Combust. spoiler. A little spoiler for you. So, guys, it's awesome to have you guys here. Uh, you want to talk about all the stuff you do, videos and podcasts and stuff? Sure. Hit us with it. <laughs> it's either that or we talk about the weather, I guess. So, <laughs> the British thing to do, isn't it? It's kind of cold and rainy here. Yeah. yeah. So, what is it we do, Lewis? What do we do? Do you know what we do? I think we just play Minecraft on the internet and try and enjoy ourselves. And it's very easy to do because Minecraft is great. So we it? make videos about it as well. So, it's not, it's not just, you know. We don't just play it. We make videos, and loads of people watch them. Loads people of people. Know. Lots and lots Literally of people. Literally dozens of people. <laughs> Shaft loads. <laughs> yeah. They just watch them over and over again. So, so do, and y'all plan out y'all's videos, or do y'all kind of just decide to do an adventure map and then just go off the cuff? Um, yeah, that's... That's roughly what happened, wasn't it? I mean, we, we, we started playing a kind of let's play style, which there's been hundreds of. Um, and we it's our sort of style, because we did a lot of this thing in World of Warcraft and other games. And once it's once it sort of got going as a series, we decided that we needed to spice it up somehow. So we spiced it up by just throwing in some crazy mix-ups from some of our friends, um, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we, Simon? <laughs> things things got very weird very quickly, and it sort of just snowballed wildly out of control. So, um, we'll, uh oh, are you a robot now? Am I a robot again? <laughs> awesome! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I am a robot again. Has that fixed it? Has that fixed it before? The that hasn't fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to just like? Oh, Hello. Jesus Christ. Christ, do you, do you want to unplug the? You, he's using like a USB dongle sound card, which is possibly the worst kind of sound card, uh, okay. um, and also the cheapest kind of sound card. I didn't even know you could actually get them, but apparently you can, <laughs> and they are terrible. <laughs> so we're, we're like one minute into the podcast, and Simon has already like basically <laughs> fucked up his sound. <laughs> oh, can I not swear? Can I fuck? Can I... No. <laughs> 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 Screwing How do you it up. Correct yourself with another. <laughs> I've, I've been told we should swear less, um, right? But it's going to take a lot of effort, I think, right, yeah. well, certainly on my part. <laughs> well, you can't beat last week, so. Yeah, it was tough. Oh my yeah. god! Amazing. The robot's gone. Am I here? Hello. You're here. Yeah. yeah. Welcome You're back. back. Yeah, we hear you. <laughs> so this is uh, brilliant. It's a good show. I, you know, this this is going to be what. Our greatest show that we've ever been on. I can feel it now. Yeah. Feel it now. You're effing and jeffing all over the shop. I'm some sort of weird robot man. It's, just, it's beautiful. The 
thing of beauty. Uh, yeah, I almost feel like you don't need us here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You guys just tell jokes and we'll we'll laugh at you. <laughs> yeah. Cool. <laughs> so your oh. your Minecraft uh, videos. See how I'm bringing it back. So your Minecraft videos. Would you say those are the most popular videos that you do right now? Oh yeah, by a long way. Um, we've. I think it's partly to do with like the snowball effect that that, that is YouTube's very nature. The thing about YouTube is that once you start getting a video that has over a certain amount of views in a day, it goes onto the top most viewed lists, and then it gets a lot more views. Mm -hmm. And we sort of crossed that crossed that threshold over about New Year um, when we when we put out sort of the last one of our first Minecraft series and. It got a lot of views, and since then we've really been growing a lot more. We've been on YouTube for about three years doing this kind of thing, and now we're finally kind of getting a bit of, of popularity, which is fantastic. Um, and it's the definitely thanks to our mind. so richly yes. deserve, and that we should have had a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I used to listen to y'all. Y'all would do uh, kind of like strats for uh, WoW bosses and stuff, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we do all sorts of things. We're going to play... We're going to continue playing whatever games we enjoy playing and making videos on them because that's kind of, I, if if we're enjoying ourselves, it's it's quite good. I mean, as you can see from Simon's robot voice, I have a lot of stress when we do. There's a lot of stress on my part when, with regards to the Oscars. <laughs> All because of me. All because of me. <laughs> well, do you want to like just detail a typical day of the week that you have? So you you wake okay. up in the morning. Like just just you go ahead. Well, I don't wake up in the morning, first of all. I have to correct you immediately. <laughs> um, what happens is I'm, like, buried underneath a duvet in my, my, my dirty little hole. And I get, like, a phone call. <laughs> I ignore it. Like, half an hour later, I get another phone call. I'll just ignore it again. And it'll go on for a good couple of hours. And by, by the time I actually get around to answering it, it's probably about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And Lewis is on the other end of the phone. He's exasperated. He says, did you not hear me call? And I say, you know, I give him some pitiful excuse. And then he says, we need to do some recording, Simon. Get online now. So I go off. I, um, I use the toilet. I, I have a sandwich. I might, I might shower. It depends. Um, every other day, usually shower. And, uh, <laughs> and then um, I finally come online. Uh, I'm a robot again, so I have to restart my computer, and um, when it's finally rebooted and we're ready to do some recording, um, I then have to go and use the loo again, <laughs> and by this time it's probably about 6 o'clock in the evening, and um, Lewis says, okay Simon, I need you to do some silly voices, and so I do some silly voices for about 10 minutes, and... Um, but after that, I'm completely exhausted. I'm spent. That's been like a full day for me. I'm, you know, I, I, I just collapse into my bed. I cover myself in the duvet. And the cycle begins anew the next day. Yeah. Um, and during all of this, Lewis is constantly... He's a bit like um, a keyboard player in like... Um, like a, an, He's like Jean-Michel Jarre, right? You remember yeah, yeah. Jean-Michel Jarre? He plays all these electronic keyboards, and he's got, like, dozens of them surrounding him, and he'll be, like, t playing them all, all at once. Lewis is like that, but with keyboards, and he's got all of these monitors surrounding him. And he's, like, you know, he's editing videos, he's doing this, he's doing that, he's, like, editing four videos at once. <laughs> he's doing all of this work. And he's putting in good, you know, 16-hour days mm. whilst I'm, like... Covered with a duvet. <laughs> um, so that's that's typically how it works. The the Yogs cast. So so are you students? Do you have jobs? Um, students. Well, we, I used What's to that? have a job. Simon just p works as a basically a hobbit, um, <laughs> where he just has to stay in his hole. Um, <laughs> a hobbit. The world needs that's my profession, hobbit. <laughs> I used to be a a, a freelance science journalist so I used to write um, for a living for various journals in the UK and I'd, I'd spent a long time contacting other countries you know most of my work came from commissions that were to cover work in the US or 
that's happened in China. So I would spend a lot of time on the phone. And it meant I had to work at funny hours as well because you have to get up early to ring up China and you have to get up, you have to stay up late to ring up America. So as we are now, I mean, it's for you in the afternoon. Is there the a funny anecdote, you know? Lewis? Is there a funny anecdote or is it you just going to ramble on about talking <laughs> no, but to I mean... Chinese man about <laughs> <Okay>. algae? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, all right, fine. You you, you do have to stop me sometimes. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> That's what we got Simon here for. Yeah. yeah. Simon yeah. will stop you for it. Yeah. So h- how do you guys manage all of your YouTube comments and stuff? Do you actually read them all and reply and stuff, or, or do you just kind of pick, you know, pick some and or, read them? Or do them you just then, ignore them all? Yeah, or just, you know, yeah. Do we... Are you, are you honestly asking if we read all of our YouTube comments? <laughs> I don't think there's a, any way to do that and get any work done. But, uh, but yeah, so how do you handle that? What, what do you do? Do you just let it go? Am we I calling hire you people to read them for us, and they pick out the best comments. <laughs> and in fact, that's why, that's why comments get so many thumbs up. It's actually like our team, our staff are all thumbsing up the good comments. So like the top rated comments are the only ones that we ever view. Right. Mm. Okay. So I, I watched a, a chunk of your videos and uh, but I, I never got to the point where you discovered who it was that built all the stuff on your server when you guys weren't logged on. Who did it? Wait, oh. you're, wait, you're the guy who hates spoilers. Wes hates spoilers, like with a passion, and you're trying to throw a spoiler out there for everybody. Is this what a spoiler? Is, is this a spoiler? They, well, you don't know who did it. Well, I know, but I so, don't. So yeah, it would spoil it. Is for this other... a major plot point? I, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> it could be. It would be uh, like saying who starred in a particular role. That's not a spoiler. I, you can if, if you said you know Snape killed Dumbledore, that would be a spoiler. <gasps> <laughs> Is, so I guess uh, my point is, did it ever become? Oh, he just hung up. A, an important. He's really mad about that. Really? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had you though. I no. had you. No, you didn't. <laughs> anyway, um, no. Was it a major point? I mean, who 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 did that on your server? John. Well, that's still a very good question. Actually, me and Simon. Um, have a whole bunch of friends that we've met and we've played games with over time. We've got a big, big WoW guild. We've got friends playing Minecraft and me and Simon are in very limited contact with the people building stuff on our server. So we were often just told, log in. You know, this will probably take about an hour or, you know, it's up to you how long you want to take. And, you know, it feels like kind of an adventure. It's kind of almost like doing D&D. Um, that's what mm. we think of it like because we did a couple of D&D podcasts now we're huge fans of D- Dungeons and Dragons the board game but we're a bit kind of nerdy and it would be quite good to put it board online because we felt that you know sometimes <laughs> people's D&D sessions are great fun they come up with these amazing mm. concepts and are really proud of their work so we did a couple of podcasts where we did D&D and I think this is a sort of similar thing that me and Simon aren't actually involved in the building or the plot or any of that but um but who the was the first behind. person to build stuff, Lewis? That, who was the first person white, to build? The white-faced man. <laughs> the Phantom of the Opera? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking very seriously about it. But, but oh. aren't, aren't I? It's crikey, why am I talking so seriously about it? Normally we just kind of beat around the bush about it, don't we? And say, Israfel built it all. <laughs> and he's a kind of hero Brian antagonist in our series, isn't he? Uh, but I don't think yeah. you know, Israel built any of this cool stuff. He's kind of someone who just builds evil things. So I don't know if it's like us. Actually what if anything. he is like us? What if it is actually just another guy and like his mate, and they're just messing around on this server, and they think that we're like the bad guys because we're coming along <laughs> and we're like repairing walls and stuff, <laughs> looting chests over the lava and. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. He's the steal- we're stealing all of his stuff, Lewis. <laughs> do you, I mean, oh do, do you know about Hero Brian and stuff? I mean, well, obviously you do, but is he, like, actually in the game in some way, shape, or form? No, no. We actually got confirmation from Notch himself who said he is absolutely not in the game. Yeah. Now, is he lying about it? I think so. <laughs> oh. Did not. Did you ask him if he has a dead brother? Yes, and it, he no, he doesn't. He doesn't have a, <laughs> he doesn't have a brother. Yeah. 
He, so. he does well, have not a, anymore. Uh, he doesn't. He no. does. He does. <laughs> <laughs> He does have a dead monkey, though. So, uh, I have a question. What the hell was that? <laughs> What's going on? What? I have a monkey. A... <laughs> I'm like looking around trying to find. Hello? It's a monkey man. Hello? <laughs> uh, so, so, what was your, your first impression on Minecraft when you first discovered it? Like, who discovered it to? Was it Simon or Lewis? Simon. And what what do you was think it? about it? Yeah, you t- tell me about it. Go on, just tell me what the first thing you said when you like saw Minecraft. Oh, it's like Lego. That's what I said. <laughs> it's like Lego. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's and, the and, way to sum it up, though, isn't it? And did Lewis um, pull what I did and go, oh, that sounds like the worst game in the world? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and he didn't. He didn't want anything to do with it, and he was like happily playing Worlds of Warcraft and um, Hon or something terrible. Yeah, some atrocious game. A lot of the time, though, it's all about your kind of feelings going in. I mean, when when we when we first started playing Minecraft, we didn't have any expectations of it. You know, Mm -hmm. Uh, in the same way that it's a kind of completely something that's completely new, and it's a very it's very well executed, whereas you know, what, like some other games I've been playing recently, like um, I played the demo of Dark Spore, I played the demo of Crisis Two, I played the demo of um, Total War Shogun Two. All those, you know, really new games coming out, and they just didn't hold my attention any of them for more than like you know half an hour. Um, and I think it's partly because I know what I'm going, I'm getting in for with those kind of genres of games. Whereas with mm. Minecraft, it's something which is just so original. Um, it can just hook you in, in and really appeal to kind of the, you know, the sandbox nature of people's people that want to build stuff. I think we're not sure. You're going to say it stuff. appeals to the child inside of you or something. The yeah, little, well, the little boy with his box of Legos. Legos. I did have a big like plastic tub of Lego when I was a kid, and I made like planes and things out of it. I think everyone did, didn't they? Did you have one of those, Simon? Um, I my parents must have spent a small fortune on Lego mm. over the years until my like twentieth birthday, probably. Oh, <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I remember I didn't like one Christmas. I got like a big like castle set of Lego, but for some reason I didn't have the patience to put it together. So my, I think my dad like put it together brick by brick and built this castle, and I think I got bored with it after a couple of days, and I just demolished the whole thing. And you know the look on his face because he'd been up like all night <laughs> building this castle, <laughs> and I just got enraged and I was you know like bashing down the castle. It was like I was breaking through, and you know. It was under siege by me. My... Wow. Early, early signs of a griefer. Yeah. Oh, dear. yeah. He'd be banned from it. Well, that wouldn't happen anymore with whitelists. Right. Oh, it's a very nice goodness. castle we have there. Oh. So, so what's on the, the horizon for Yogg's cast? What's the next uh, thing coming out? Next project? God, we don't know. We don't know what we're doing from the day movie. to day. Yogg's cast the movie. Awesome. Ed yeah. Norton is going to play Lewis, and um, <laughs> the professor. late John Candy is going to play me. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent cast. Uh, you can't just put his corpse under a duvet, and it works. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Cool. What are, we, what are we doing? I don't know what we're doing. What I want to talk about is what, what we want to see in Minecraft. I read someone that someone made a mod that you increased the sky limit so you could like build higher things. Um, but, like, apparently Notch said that that's not a very good idea because there's no, like, terminal velocity in Minecraft. You keep falling faster and faster. And apparently if you, like, have a sky limit that's too high and you jump off the top, uh, you'll fall faster than it can, like, render stuff below you and then you'll just fall through the world instead. I heard, I heard that was the reason. Ah, oh, yeah, that's what's, a good reason. What's that got to do with what we're doing in the future? <laughs> <laughs> no, <but I> just... <laughs> <laughs> what? I was just thinking, we're like stuff that I want to see in Minecraft. That's what we're gonna do in future. We're gonna fall through the world. 
we fall into the world quite a lot, haven't we? Let's see. My goodness. Mm -hmm. Well, let's uh, if we if we want to talk about what we want uh, new, let's go ahead and go into uh, something we like to call excavation station. <laughs> And this is uh, where we and you and all the listeners propose new ideas for Minecraft. For chicken in here. <laughs> <laughs> we we have a whole zoo in here. We kind of push them and prod them and make them make noises. Yeah, we do. Oh my goodness! Um, <laughs> it's like I'm in a barn <laughs> or somewhere. Oh, <laughs> amazing! Uh, yeah. So, uh, all right, excavation station. Let's talk about what we want in the game. So you were uh, talking about what? What do y'all want? What What do y'all want to see? What is the number one thing you want? Or number? What do you two? want, Simon? What's the number one thing you want to see in Minecraft? Um, putting you on the I spot. I want <laughs> robots. robots. More creatures. I want more creatures. That's what I want. I want that to be in the standard game. Thank well, you. That's very a good much. call. Yeah, that is a good call. I was thinking like more creative stuff. Like I'd like to see. Because you know, not just being because like the Nether, you could envision it being below like the bedrock, couldn't you? Yeah. So I think a lot of people like think it's kind of there, don't they? So you have like the normal world, then you have bedrock, then you have the Nether. I'd like to see like another one underneath the Nether, like a kind of like like a nicer version though, like maybe like um, a kind of uh, a nicer like a different one? pink cobblestone. Yeah. Instead of Netherrack, it's like marshmallow. <laughs> Like yeah, and instead like, of lava, it's hot chocolate. Yeah, like Candyland. Like kind of Candyland, Toy yeah. Town, yeah. under there. Something that's like slightly sinister, but not. Yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, we, we've got some people on our server building a Candyland right now. Sugar and her crew, Ooh. I believe. Maybe like if Tim Burton created Candyland, something like that. Maybe. It'd be kind of cool. Yeah. That would like work. A, chocolate rivers bullshit. instead of lava. Yeah. That would work. We could do that. <laughs> Delicious, malevolent underground ponies. Yeah, it could work. And I see you have something did here, Eric. Huh? I see you have something here. What did you want? Yeah, I was thinking. I want little glowy things that uh, are a part of your armor. Uh, ench enchantments. I, I guess it's a little wow like, but everybody kind of wants to look a little different, other than the skins, right? So you could have a uh, some sort of a. Um, enchantment on your legs to make you run faster or something and it would glow it would do something cool so everybody kind of has their own look you know um or like a like some sort of poop enchantment so you just walk around <laughs> laying poop blocks like a trail of them <laughs> i don't know whatever see when you mentioned the running thing it reminded me of the trainers that would have the little leds that would light up as you ran around yeah oh yeah 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 that'd be kind of cool well, I just think customized armor. Good. Customized armor would be good. Something, yeah. anything that you could do to get yourself away from, you know, generic clothing. Right. Yeah, that would be a good there idea. There are dyes like, in like, the game. Just... Why can't you dye your armor? Ah. Yeah. Ah. 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 Mm. Ah. <laughs> ah. Okay, it was a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I remember they did that in... with the cow and the chicken and the weird monkey man over here. <laughs> Mind me. I remember they did that in EverQuest. They they let you start dying armors, and it was like a race to see who could make the crappiest looking set of armor. Mm -hmm. And everybody just ran around with the worst looking armor. Like orange. So I think that's an awesome idea. And lime green. <laughs> yeah. What's the matter with lime green? Like clowns. Like clown armor. Eric has a thing about clowns. Yeah. You know? I don't know. Sexually. Uh, we do have a call here, and I will play it. He will, I swear. Hey guys, this is uh, Cerebral Cow, and I have a suggestion for the excavation station. I think it'd be cool to have like mushrooms that you start that you could eat the mushrooms and grow, you know, or be able to find like glowing stars bouncing around randomly, and you know, they make you invulnerable or run faster. That sounds cool, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I love how we get the original ideas in. Sure. Uh, no, he that... sounded really, really enthusiastic about the idea as well, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so they're basically buffs, right? Buff, like you get the. Dun, 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 no, it's basically dun, 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 Mario, dun, dun, dun. right? Yeah. Yeah. So, armored uh, turtle shells. Yeah. Uh, I think he put guess... that. 
that to notch, he'd just say it's impossible, and then someone on the forums would make a mod of it, like forty-eight hours later. <laughs> yeah, I'll show yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right. That's pretty much what happens. Uh, here's a, here's one. kind of a cool one from uh, Chris, uh, one of our listeners, who says he wants to see blocks that that will break if you stand on them too long. Oh. So maybe like ice blocks over water. Yeah. They'd... It's kind of another Mario thing. You know, like the, isn't there a block you stand on too long? It's like a, a Cheerio. Mm. It looks like a, you know, like a Fruit Loop. Like it's like a round, you know what I'm saying? It's like I, a, I a square mm. donut. I never played that game, so I don't know. You never played about. a Mario game? No. Oh. Really? It's I, not multiplayer. <laughs> <laughs> he only plays multiplayer right, games. Right, right. Sorry. One day they'll come out with the Mario MMO and I'll, I'll be all on that. Oh, yeah. So, uh, I don't know. That's uh, kind of cool, I guess. I, I think it could be useful for something like like sports. Like if you were to do some kind of spleefy thing, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah do y'all play sp- spleef? Spleef. Spleef. Yep. Have you heard spleef. of spleef? Spleef. <laughs> so there's... Have, you, have y'all seriously not heard of spleef? Spleef. Is it like shuttleboard? Okay, so in in Minecraft, people will build these stadiums, which is basically like a big rectangular floor, and then they'll make the flooring of something that Schleaf. you can dig out. <laughs> and then everybody will get in there and try to dig out under everybody so they fall into like lava or something, and the last person standing wins. And they call it Spleef. Oh, okay. Spleef. Yeah, so it's kind of like the, the, How many of these the CS. It's kind of like the Counter-Strike source map break floor, where you have to... You have a, a rectangular arena and you have to drop people off it. Is that right? Exactly. It sounds right. Yeah. I've never okay. played it. Yeah, I've never played that. But, but it's, it's like break the ice, much. isn't yeah, that don't, the don't break the ice? Don't break the ice. That's yeah. the icebreaker. The physical game that you get as a kid. And wasn't there an old uh, Nintendo game as icebreakers? What is it? I don't. Or something. Mm. Now, does anybody know where spleef the the word actually came from? Is that like the sound spleef. it makes? Spleef. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> Belief. <laughs> I don't know. So let's let's uh, let's move on. Um, <laughs> Belief. <laughs> Travis Neal wants a musket that fires shots, even if you have to reload it after each shot. Mm. And we've discussed guns before. I'm kind of iffy on it. I like the I like the physics of the bow. I don't I don't, I don't want to go on to guns. Yeah. I don't know. That's a little. Uh, it's a little violent for Minecraft. Um, really? <laughs> I mean, yeah. With skeleton but, zombies, spiders, and creepers. But those creepers. don't really relate to the real world. You know, when you put a gun in there, then it relates straight to like a sword. Like, ma- like there's no other kind. use for a sword except for to stab someone or to but knife them. But a sword them. is fantasy. You know, well, must a get. shotgun is like. Well, yeah. No, what no one's saying to, like, like they want a you know, sawed-off shotty in here. Like. Rob a a seven eleven or running around. I don't know. I, just... uh, I, I, I don't know. I'm not. I mean, if we're talking about Call of Duty level weaponry, then that's different. Whereas if you're talking about just a little bit of a shotgun to defend your land, I mean, that's kind of quite <laughs> yeah. cool. Yeah. You know? I guess I'm just thinking like he walks into a bank with a shotgun, <laughs> and it's like it's not fun anymore. You know? It's, well, it's if not he like... built the bank and he has people there as tellers, and you go in, that would be awesome. What is this sound? Oh, man. You hear a sound over here. I, did, I, I think Wes found his phone. I didn't forget my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know why there isn't more magic stuff in the game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we need more magic stuff. Well, when you said there was going to be alchemy, I guess that's the mixing of the dyes is technically the start of the alchemy. Right. So, yeah. But uh, I agree. I think there needs to be more magic. Like more ways magic. for people to do magic fireballs to light stuff on fire instead of having to bring a lava bucket to grief me. And when are we gonna get a freaking people. unicorn already? Oh, it's already in there. Yeah, haven't you seen the uh, the the mobs mod? Oh the, well, yeah, mo creatures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just need more creatures. We just need mo. Uh, it, on a similar vein, Red Hawk eighty eight wants a spear gun to use on the squid mobs. There we go oh, with yeah. the guns again. <laughs> I don't know. Well, this is, uh, like I said, there's a difference between Halo. I mean, the thing is, anything that people suggest, Notch says, I'm not going to do that. And then he has to come up with something himself. And he's kind of digging himself into a hole because pretty much everything has been suggested at this point. 
But I'm I'm all for people suggesting guns because I think that means that Notch won't put them in. Um, <laughs> well, then that's uh, that's the one good thing about it. they've got a um, a guy there now. I guess Jeb, who's the one who's now putting in the items in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't know if y'all seen part of the uh, documentary yet, where where Notch basically says, you know, well, I wasn't going to put anything anything people said, but now Jeb puts it in there, so I just have to look at it and go, oh, okay, that looks cool now. Yeah, I, I kind of think Jeb was behind the better light thing. Yeah, because he cause... didn't seem like he wanted that at all, and now it's default. Yeah, which is awesome. Do you guys like the, the new lighting change? I can't say I've noticed, but I'm all for adding community mods to Minecraft. I think mm. there's a lot of really talented programmers out there who spend you know, weeks of their life or, or their spare time from an actual programming job. Yeah. Uh, you know, coding really good code for Minecraft, and if they, you know, Minecraft turn around at the end of the day and say, "Look, you know, we want to use your code," I'm all for that because wow, it's just going to improve the game so much, and it's a good start that they've put in two quite important bits of code. You know, saving games and lighting. You know, they're two, you know, pretty important things. It's not like someone took a squid mod off one of the community members and shoved that in. I mean, that, that would be easy, but yeah. you know, these are important things, and they've they've just gone in very smoothly excellent haven't they there's been no bugs related to them they've not caused massive errors or downtime or anything so fantastic yeah so have y'all had any exciting adventures with squids yet oh we've had a few squids spawning in weird places like yeah they just spawn if there's just a single tiny little pool of water or like a puddle of water you'll just get squid spawning crazily mm. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like I go, I go up in my house for a, like, a little bath and there's just like 17 squids all spazzing <laughs> around like in my bathroom and I'm like what um, well, I, might, I might have had something to do with that if that was on multiplayer <laughs> like, I could just spawn mobs <laughs> sealed a guy's house with squid before squid and pig man zombie <laughs> pig man so, so, so speaking of nice oh, yeah, we've had that before. So speaking of each other's houses, we we didn't ask you all this earlier, but uh, you know we got you on on two different lines on Skype. Are y'all do y'all live near each other? Or are y'all in different areas? Or no, no, no. Simon lives in London. I live out in the in the middle of the heartland of England, Reading. Okay. Um, so y'all got to Skype so in for pretty much everything. With some distance, I assume you guys all live in completely different parts of the country as well. No, so. we're actually in the same room. Yeah, we're sitting here in the same room. They're uh -oh. all in the same room. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, we decided to do this, and, you know, Wes uh, moved from California, and Eric moved uh, down from uh, New Jersey, and uh, we all got a, a pad together down here in Huntsville. Uh, so y'all are welcome to join us. We got room. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we could do. <laughs> That's a bit creepy. I'm not sure I'd be comfortable with that. <laughs> and I'm just kidding. Know, we all just have weird. to live in the same Can't place. Can't I live just down the road or something? We're in like a, a granny flat, as we call it. <laughs> <laughs> can you build me a little shed in the garden? I can live there. I'll be quite happy. Or like a Santa's naughty shank. Is that what they call it? What? A grotto. It's it's something grotto. somebody built on our server. I think maybe, was it toasted jelly or was it, uh, I don't know, someone built the uh, naughty Santa's naughty shack. Huh. What happens in there? I don't know. I think it's if you're a naughty boy, Santa won't visit you or something. Or he ties you up and he oh. keeps you in there. He asked if it was okay, and I said, I don't know what that is, but it looks okay, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, might have to Google that. I, I guess maybe I should be worried now that uh, it sounds like Simon and Lewis have no clue what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a bit worrying. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, okay, so uh, I guess back to this. Communist Banana, he thinks that Snowball should freeze mobs for a few seconds. Ah. Sub-Zero wins. Could go with that. That's a good suggestion. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good good suggestion. Put that in, Notch. We'll write that down. Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> Notch just called. He's, he said it's in the next patch. Oh, thanks, dude. All right. Hey. That was quick. It uh, works. The <laughs> system <laughs> works. We, we've got some power over here. I don't know if you yeah, yeah. It no. It's all about the yogs. Uh, so Punk wants a video camera with special HUD view, and then later VidCam plus minecart equal dolly. Okay, I get it. So um, uh, this sounds like Machinima tools. Uh, yeah. But a video camera, uh, that's kind of weird. I would rather it just be a... Uh, a way to uh, 
detach the camera and move it around yeah. free roam style, which I thought was going to happen in 1.3 because they kept saying a bunch of machinima tools were coming out, but really all they gave us was smooth camera with F8, which is cool. But they took away, what, F5? The one where you they can did. actually look at your face? Oh, yeah, that sucked. Yeah, yeah, they need to put that back. Yeah. So do y'all use all special tools? New machinima tools. We've been using them already, definitely. I, I, we used them in like a a special cutscene thing, didn't mm. we, in, in, one, in episode 14, which actually yeah. wasn't as bad as I thought. Um, I knew I wanted to do something with... It's very difficult to do sometimes story in Minecraft without having a big wall of text there, you know? So yeah. I like how you do... Kind of I... lit a literal wall of text. We kind of added a, yeah. a cutscene. To it. I love that too because <laughs> text you, you, covering a wall. You make it like a scroll. I really like that. That's really cool. Oh yeah, that's a good way of doing it. But yeah. again, I, I think if you could turn that into imagine imagine that's those scrolls though as a cutscene. I think that would be quite cool to have as well. But sometimes they don't lend themselves well to cutscenes. Uh, these like intros, especially if they're wide ranging. Um. Yeah, I found, I found that the best way to do it is really outside of Minecraft because there's not enough tools there. So to take it and, and uh, make a 3D model and animate it outside of the game and then marry it with background images like um, like In Search of Diamonds uh, video. Have you guys seen that? Mm, yeah, music video? it's good. Um, it, that is sort that of how thing. you did it? Wow. Yeah, yeah, it was all... Outside of the well, you know the in in game stuff was captured, but the of course the animated dude was uh, light wave. Um, but you know we need more control, like like custom well, it would animations. Bene- it would benefit him too, just the game in general. I mean, like the note blocks, he put those in, and all suddenly there's hundreds of thousands of videos with his game in it with these songs. If now he made in game tools where the average Joe can sit there and film, you know, whatever, all suddenly there's gonna be thousands of more videos out there about his game. And that's right. gonna drive more sales for him. So it's just a win win. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. i then again note blocks, they're a bit crap, aren't they? So <laughs> <laughs> some of the biggest note no, blocks videos that are actually on the internet are like I love all those videos are, of the theme from them. Portal. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> Literally thousands of videos of people doing the theme from Portal on Noteblocks. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe real we could get those all playing the, at the yeah. same time. Though. Thanks. Yeah. But the thing is, like I was trying to say, though, half of those ones that are d- aren't actually in-game footage, they're people like, editing it afterwards, so it actually sounds listenable, because Noteblocks are just so shit, and Redstone's just so fucking confusing. Right. Everyone just doesn't have a clue. I'm swearing. You're I mean, swearing so much, Lewis. You're so angry we, about <laughs> note blocks. It's only note block blocks. There's no need to get angry about it. Have, have you? Love. Have any? Has anyone here managed to Did build anything out family of family or something? <laughs> uh, I did. I did some note block stuff before, but but that, you cheated too, yeah, right? Did, <laughs> did you guys see the Minecraft rave? Where it's the DJ flipping switches. And was stuff. that you as well? Yeah, oh, that was you me. cheating bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Every guest that comes on this show calls me out. I'm talking about moon block. <laughs> well, so I'm... what you're saying is your your famous Minecraft rave thing. You didn't actually do it in note blocks, and your famous video about <laughs> that, that diamonds thing. You didn't actually do it in Minecraft. <laughs> Did you actually? Right. Oh. I don't actually play the game. Do you actually <laughs> own a copy of Minecraft? No, he always borrows <laughs> mine. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Uh. Oh, well. Oh, all right. Now, to be fair, you built almost all of it. It was getting the timing right that was that was tough. Yeah, it was choreography. I I, I stole the sounds of the game. Hit you know I recorded the note blocks Let's themselves not say and then took stole. it out. We don't oh, yeah, want I don't to know say we stole. stole anything. Yeah, I don't know why I said stole. <laughs> I, I recorded the in-game sounds and then took them outside, arranged them, and then, you know what I mean? So, I mean, yeah. So, I like the theme of Minecraft a lot. And I'll use any ways I know to create a cool visual experience. I'm trying to save myself here from being <laughs> <That's>, a cheater. <laughs> yeah. so, there's no saving yourself. Uh, All right. Well, what's up next here? The Mac, the Thigh Mac, Return the of the Mac, Thigh Thigh Mac Two, the 
Thiai Mac 2? You're not saving yourself. What? Mm. <laughs> he wants iron poles, like sticks, that makes tools stronger and also for metal grates. That's cool. <laughs> I, I guess. Yeah, I know. I think that's a good idea. Fuck I think you should be able no. to use metal for. He wants a lot, this man. <laughs> Iron poles. God. Iron Just look, you're in a fucking. Oh, stop straight. You're in a sandbox <laughs> game. You can create castles in the sky. You can have anything you want. And this guy wants, wants Iron, Iron Pole. pole. <laughs> I mean, he's not asking for much, is he? He's a very modest man of <laughs> low means. I mean, come on. Just what, think of something you want to have in the game, Simon. Um, I want, um, Jaffa Cakes in the game. That's what I want, okay. Jaffa Cakes. Okay. <laughs> we, we've already got cake, so would it be, how it's different close. would it be? But there's a really good mod for, like, orange trees and lime trees and lemon trees and stuff like this, and it just changes a couple of Ooh. trees to have, like, fruit in them, and you can, when you know, when you knock them down, it drops a bit of fruit, and you can eat the fruit, and you can make, like, cocktails. I mean, that's a cool idea. Mm. There's loads of ideas like that. Iron poles! Come on! No Iron blocks! Pole. No blocks! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to go and have a lie down. I think I'm just ready. Too much. <laughs> I think you're gonna have to. <sighs> All right. So that was a, that was a winner. Uh, the next one is. Uh, let's see. Mechanical spider wants a secret door made from clean stone that acts like a normal door but looks like two blocks of stone. A secret door. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I kind of like that one. That's good. It's kind of generic like how about <laughs> how about something that's like a uh uh a bookcase that rotate that you know uh uh rotates mm -hmm. around you know and, and you can ride it and, you, and you're on that like you side, put a like, torch next to it and you uh, click on the torch then it opens up the uh yeah bookcase. or a secret button like a statue head that you go up and you touch the statue or like a torch <laughs> since yeah. the torch is already in the game you could just pull on the torch yeah yeah a little movable torch or a statue head maybe <laughs> I mean, maybe that's what he meant by secret door. Uh, yeah, but see, my thing is, I don't see that many bookcases around. I do see lots of stone. So a secret door is something you can't predict, right? So you want it to be the most common element, right? Oh. Mm. So you walk into a dark cave, and there's nothing but just nothing. And then all of a sudden, you just see a bookcase. You're like, hmm. <laughs> Something's up here. <laughs> with, with a statue head. Like, that's what give it away for me, I think. It's the statue head. Oh, look. It's another bookcase with a statue head next to it. Or maybe it could be like you, you go near and you you touch something and then you hear... Huh? No. Oh. Huh? Yeah? There's been a lot of that stuff going on, though. I mean, we've played a couple of custom maps, haven't we? And people are doing some very clever stuff with, with stuff like that, like secret blocks, secret doors and things with texture mm. packs. So what they do is they make, like, for example, a block that isn't used very commonly. And, you know, when they, make, when they design their adventure map, they have that block, like, like an NPC almost. So it's like, um, like dressed up like a ninja or something. And then that's an NPC, and there's a sign next to it, and it says, you know, to go and... Do the Hello, adventure quest. I'm an NPC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there's good stuff like that. I mean, so they could do the secret doors in the same way with texture packs, but they can also put in loads of like fancy, cool stuff with texture packs, like clever puzzles and clever settings and clever scenery. And mm. <laughs> it's nice that we have this sort of ability to set up our own adventures. So it's nice that it's so easily moddable, Minecraft. Yeah, right. Um, well, and, and speaking of those building. those mods, building I noticed y'all use uh, some texture packs uh, for your videos. Did y'all do that just uh, kind of to bring up the quality of the videos or just personal preference you like those? Some of these custom apps have them with them pre-installed, but sometimes we like to sort of show them off for flavor's sake. Because sometimes we do like, you know, texture packs. Some of them are really, really good. Notch isn't an artist, so you can forgive his art. And, you know, it's, it, he says he loves texture packs, and they're going to make some more texture packs in the future, aren't they? I think. So there's going to be options for how you want Minecraft to look. Um, but, yeah, like like you said with the note blocks thing and that Zelda sound, we, the map we played... When you did crack open a secret door, it actually played the Zelda sound on note blocks, you know, that were hidden behind oh, the wall. Yeah. So cool. stuff like that that's just that's put really into cool. an adventure is really, really, really good. Um, so you should, if you haven't played these like adventure maps like Professor Griswold, and the other one is 
Good Avenger. Good Avenger. Right which we on. tried to play the other day, but Simon's like computer melted down after about ten minutes. Mm. So. Oh. So, so and I noticed on like one one of the professor groups I was like, y'all y'all weren't really like trying to figure out the traps or anything. I just kinda <laughs> bulldozed forward and <laughs> and did stuff, right? Well, I mean Well not really. Most mostly we do try, but it's a bit frustrating sometimes when the puzzles are a bit lever based or jumping based. You can be very creative in Minecraft. So, and also, I think that 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 in Minecraft you can have puzzles which aren't necessarily the classic jumping, climbing lever Mensa puzzles. You can have a setting that you've built with a massive chasm, and you have to say you have to build a, a bridge across it, or stuff like that. So what we want to do is we want to release our our map that we've played through with all of these things in it and we want to say look you've got this challenge rebuild the yog cave which we set on fire right. rebuild the zeppelin which has been set on fire and you know suspend it above a zeppelin tower. And that way people can log on to our adventure server and they can actually do very sort of unusual quests that are Minecraft related uh, in, a, in a sense. So digging for stuff searching for stuff rather than these terribly boring like Ugh! Like avoid the arrow traps, door like locked. Mario. You have to like flick some levers, and then it opens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so y- y'all have y'all's own server, uh, like uh, the Yagnots. They go on to like y'all's server. Mm, we've got a couple of servers, and they they're really only just getting set up. We've we've paid for them, and we're hosting them, and we're getting more and more. We're going to have a public museum server, which is just our our map from the series that people can walk around and look at. We're also going to release that as, like this, I said, this kind of adventure map, so if people want to host it themselves or play it with friends, they can do that. Also, we're going to have probably a couple of public build servers, which aren't going to be the traditional public build servers. When you go online and on Minecraft Multiplayer, you're instantly zoned into a very busy area filled with crap, and there's, like, you know, very terrible sky high walkways walking across everywhere and it just looks very silly and that's just the nature of public servers what i think we're going to do is we're going to have a public server that's sort of limited in size so it's very very big but not hugely big right and the central area is we're going to build up we're going to build like a hunting lodge there and we're going to say you know welcome to the august public server go ahead and go off an adventure with this world if you find other people great we're going to have a few mods on there, like local chat, so you can only talk to people who are near you. And the idea is that you wander off in a random direction or with your friends, and there's a public kind of build server where after a certain amount of distance from that area of nice scenery hunting lodge, you can go ahead and build whatever you want. So they can screw up the world once they get there. But, you know, it's, <laughs> it's a bit more Minecrafty, at least to begin with, for them to zone in. And then we'll, we'll wipe it clean from time to time. Hmm. We've also got a couple of private servers where people who've shown their skill effectively by posting on our forums or giving us screenshots or becoming friends of ours uh, have this whitelisted server which is where we, me and Simon have got a little village we've got our own little houses um, mm. so you know, one of my friends built a big tree house in his plot of land we've got a couple of, we've got lots of server mods actually one of them is called Townie and it allows you to sort of isolate sort of plots of land. So I think we were given like a 16 by 16 plot of land in a generated castle area um, with sort of wall around the outside. And we're supposed to like pimp out our town. And the idea is that, you know, you, you, you have certain members of the town and other members of the town. You could go to war with other towns um, and kind of grief them. But at the moment, it's quite peaceful, I think. There have been a bit of... There's been a few lava buckets poured over people's houses and they weren't pleased. Uh, <laughs> the, tree, the tree that I mentioned has already been set on fire several times. I mean, you wouldn't... Oh. It's very flammable leaves. They just go up really quick. Especially also now that wood doesn't stick around. It's meant that the tree has just literally vanished off the server several yeah. times. <laughs> um, so it sounds like you already have your hands full with stuff. Uh, are, how hands-on are you on the server stuff, though? Do you just talk to people and say hey uh these are the mods we want or you know just do the servers for us and make it cool or are you hands-on and like looking for mods and putting them on yourself um well actually i mean on our server that we run and play the adventure on it's literally vanilla so it's nothing there's no mods there at all it's it's just the, the raw server software that we've got you know you can opt people and you can give them you know 46 one but you can't like 
there's no fancy stuff. Um, no special crazy mods or anything. It's all texture packs and just natural server. That's what we have. But a lot of guys who are sorting out our servers for us, I have nothing to do with it. I'm, I don't know anything about computers. Um, and neither do you, Simon Crikey. In, in your 15 <laughs> uh-huh. minutes of like daylight each day, you don't have time to do that kind of stuff anyway. <laughs> um, I mean, I, 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 I get up at 7.30, I make Hannah breakfast, I make Hannah some lunch, pack her off to school, well, no, to work. And then... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> and then, oh you know... God. Um, this is how rumours start. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, I do stuff, and I, I work on the videos, and I edit, and I look around, and I respond to emails. We do, Like you asked before, you know, we get... How so many comments, so many You're emails. Talking today. so much, it's like listening to Total Biscuit. Jesus, it just goes on and on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Simon. Do you want to interrupt? You got anything to say? I just did. I just oh. did. Um, what? Well, this isn't our show. You can't just take it over. <laughs> <laughs> oh my That'd be fair. I did ask questions. So. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, so we got so. another call here. Yes. Those are always fun. All right, let's do it. Hello. uh, My name is Aristides, and I have a suggestion for Excavation Station. Recently, with the 1.3 patch, I've noticed that there are are fir trees in snow areas. Now that Mojang are starting to put in the different teeth types, I'd like to see different saplings being dropped by the leaves on decay. That way I could make a more dynamic garden for my castle. What do you guys think? Thanks. So different types of saplings, so you can get the other trees and grow them. That was kind of good. I, I like that idea. I think the sapling seems good. natural progression. Yeah, kinda. yeah. It seems like they should have had that there to begin with. I mean, with the introduction of new trees, yeah. But it seems like Notch has problems with trees, right? Like the leaves frustrated him for so long to get it just right. Yeah, he was having some code rage for a while. It seemed like I don't know. Guess well, it's... yeah. Some of these new trees look ridiculous, though. They're like a like a toilet brush you know they're just like one <laughs> massive long stick with oh, like yeah. four leaves <laughs> the on the pine top pine trees yeah, yeah. Looks did, some of them do look a bit weird yeah i don't really like the uh the birch wood texture really fault yeah because it's so it's so white i guess it kind of now i'm thinking about the bathroom uh but it kind of looks like toilet paper kind of wrapped up and it's kind of gross i don't know it just it doesn't um mm. mesh well with the forest of like dark colors and greens and browns and you know, it just, I don't know, it just sticks out and looks funny to me. I'd uh, like you, I'd like for you to be able to, though, purposefully plant those trees and to take the birch wood and use it in construction. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, that would be cool. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Should you allow to be, I mean, we've obviously, like, previously built stuff with actual leaves. You know, you have to spawn them in, but you can make interesting trees or bushes or hedges and shapes. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, that would be... I don't think like we could call that unrealistic giving people leave blocks, you know? Yeah, hedges um, and topiary and things. Yeah, maybe you, you could make, make them out of nice, saplings or something. Um so they would be fairly difficult to make, but Yeah. That might be a nice idea. That would be nice. I'm hearing Skype sounds. Yes. Are we dropping people? No, someone's trying to call us. Oh, okay. Don't call us. Don't do that. We'll call you. Uh, we want to go to the next one here. Wow, some of these are wordy. Uh, chronological says, since Minecraft uses the same system of hearts as health as Zelda, I think it should be hearts, heart pieces <sighs> randomly hidden throughout the world, like pumpkins. A heart container would be added to your health every time you found four heart pieces. Well, well that's like exactly like extra Zelda. Extra <laughs> it's not like heart. Zelda. That it's is ridiculous. Zelda. It's about as good as the guy who wanted a mushroom that makes you grow. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we'll, we'll get some carts, some uh, carts to race around in. Yeah. Oh, oh, actually, down here, a thousand knots says he wants segways. What? That's just dumb. Yeah, that is dumb. Okay, uh, mutant. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there goes one listener. <laughs> yep. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> uh, mutant Dude. carrot says it would be cool to add. Um, uh, it would also be cool to add about adding elemental swords. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, anyway, like fire, ice, poison, and water. Fire swords would be crafted from a sword and a fire stone, like a mineral or maybe a new mob drop. Poison would be uh, from sword and slime balls. Ice would be snow blocks. And a sword and water would be a water bucket 
and sword. So fire would do overtime damage, ice would slow movement, poison would make food less effective unless an antidote was taken, and water would push back enemies. Uh, you had me at flaming swords. I don't need the rest. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah, fun to see. That was, that's a good suggestion. I like... I like making it more kind of magical in the world and making more gems mm. and more kind of... I like all that stuff about Minecraft. I hope they do continue I... to add more stuff onto the ground. Like Lapis, that's a good start, but I want it to be busy <laughs> down there. And maybe you have to go... Maybe this is all stuff that has to be gleaned from another area, too. Like, maybe all these special mm. magical stuffs have to come from the me nether, you know? Some place that's, that's more, someplace that's more hostile. So you know you have mm. this sort of generic world you you work in, and then if you build a portal to another world, you can bring some of the magic back. But see, oh, yeah. I, I actually, honestly, I think the Nether is like less hostile than the real world. Like it's to me, it's like once you put up a glass plate, uh, you basically own the Nether. Like because gas don't do anything, the pigmen don't fight you. It's just like. You only have to look out for the gas, you know? That's well, it. I think the nether needs a bit of work. It needs, definitely needs a bit of loving, doesn't it? It hasn't yeah. had much attention since its release, and it, it, it feels like there's not much there, like, blocks-wise. Uh, you know, yeah. it's small, there's a limited That's amount of stuff That's about the only there. reason to go there, isn't it? Glowstone. And you need, like, nine glowstones to get bring one bit back. It's just, it's just a bit of a chore to farm glowstone, especially if you're trying to build anything nice out of it with it, you know? Yeah. <sighs> I think it needs a bit of loving. Um, but what was that block that was added? Like there was an obsidian block with a bit of blue dye. Have you guys talked about that? Was oh, that in the latest patch in the, the texture? Lapis, lapis, lapis lazuli, lazuli. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. There was like there was like something else, wasn't there? Um, obsidian, but with a weird sheen on it. Yeah. And we thought it might be like people speculating it might be like part of the new portal because not just said he'd like to add a new Nether effectively, hasn't he? Of some description. Now I don't know whether yeah. that would be through a different portal or. Or how he would get there. Um, this is a block that's yeah. in game. Oh wow, we don't know anything Somebody, about this. Anybody in the chat room know this? What's going on? Yeah, y'all yeah. are just it making this up, aren't y'all? <laughs> for towards the ether, maybe. I don't know. There's there's lots of uh, interesting stuff about coming out about it because there's there's definitely a new texture in the texture.png, and people were saying, you know, what's this for and oh, stuff. Okay, oh. okay, so it's. It's not probably actually in the game, just in the files, like, to be in the game later. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's not in the actual... There's no actual block that you can put down. Or else people would have known about it, definitely. Um, but that's... It might just be Jeb trolling us. But we have yeah, the speculation good. about what it might be in the future. <laughs> that's the fun with it. Let's hope it's the Candyland I th world. I think it's probably the start of the poop block. The evolution oh, of God. the poop block. Or not. Uh... So this one, uh, uh, Acer, Acer Maxi, uh, he wants a time machine to go back to prehistoric times. And this has actually uh, been done in a mod. It's called Jurassic Craft. Have you guys seen this? Mm. No. Oh. Sounds amazing. It is. It, it Lewis, is. I put it, when you said, you know, Simon, find some mod, mods so that we can play through them or Hannah can play through them, make it into a nice text document. I've put it in there. It's in the Dropbox. There's a text it's document. Not, and it's it not. Lists... These are the ones that you've put in there. You are the Creeper, version 0.45. Baby yeah. animals. Nuke. Baby animals. What is new? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it turns TNT what that is. into like really, really powerful stuff. It blows up the entire world. <laughs> oh, that sounds perfect! <laughs> Just sounds what we want to Give Honeydew 46 <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, Jurassic Craft is there. I'm sure I added it on there. I'm sure I did. Alright, so sorry we to interrupt, guys. Go on, tell us about yeah. this. I want to hear about the dinosaurs. Uh, it's, it's basically a world that you can go to a new portal that takes you uh, back in time. And it has, it's really cool. It's got this red glowy uh, sky. Uh, the trees look different. They're, they're a lot bigger around. The, the trunks are bigger. And uh, lots of different dinosaurs, big brontosauruses, T Rexes, and pterodactyls. Everything was bigger and... back then, wasn't it? The trees were bigger, the animals were bigger. Yeah, and like everything was bigger. I think that, like the sun. I think is there more than one planet? I don't remember what the sky looks like, but it's really cool. Uh, just do a search uh, for Jurassic Craft on YouTube, and uh, and you can enjoy the the Jurassic Park soundtrack being played underneath it, which is actually kind of nice. <laughs> 
That's amazing. Yeah. Okay, we'll definitely do that. So yeah, we want to see we want to see you guys doing a video on that. That would be that would be awesome. Uh, yeah, there. snap to it <laughs> now. I can use some dinosaur voices. <laughs> Roar! I'm a dinosaur. Something like that, maybe. Yeah, that's pretty good. Needs to be at work. Needs to be. That at was work. like a stegosaurus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you uh, some, so like a brontosaurus. So I think we should move on from excavation station. Okay. Yeah, it just Should keeps we? going and going and going. Yeah, uh, yeah. Do we want to do a quick uh, journey? Do we want to do that? I got a couple things to talk about. Okay. Well, that sounds pretty fun, and let's do it now. <laughs> Yay! Our journey. <laughs> That's music so yay. happy. No, it just makes me happy. I just I'm like, yeah. yay. Um, okay, so I'll go ahead and start off. My wife was at GDC this week. Ooh. Uh, she uh, was doing a uh, symposium for her company in San Francisco, and uh, my wife's cousin works for Double Fine. So he invited her to come to the award ceremony, and she couldn't make that, but she did go to the um, Mojang booth to meet the people there. And, mm -hmm. um, so I've got like, I've got like Carl's card here, you know, and I've got my, and I don't know what I do. Show in the it. back of the business card. There you go. That's it's got big, That's the, awesome. the new Mojang logo on there. Sweet. Um, but, uh, it was really funny because my wife walked up to the booth and was like, oh, you know, my husband does a podcast about your game. And she was talking to Carl and she's like, and he's going to kill me because I can't remember the name of the show right now. Are you serious? Oh, God. Oh. She forgot it was called The Shaft? She did. She oh. did. And, uh, and, and Carl went, are you talking about The Shaft? And she went, yes, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, that was, that was pretty funny. Um, Man. uh, but she, uh, basically said that, you know, we had had a good time doing, doing the stuff and everything. And, and, uh, that she, that we were hoping to get notch on the show eventually. And Carl said, we want to get him on the show as well, but things have been really, really crazy. And, and she, and she agreed with him. And, and, uh, anyway, so, uh, yes. basically Carl himself said that he wants Notch to come on the show. That's good. On yeah. our yeah, show. Yeah, we want him on the show as well, on, on your show, don't we, Simon? <laughs> so, <laughs> Definitely. Let's, get, let's get it, let's get that done, everyone. Let's come on, Notch, what are you playing at? Get on the shaft. <laughs> get on that shaft. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everybody go out today and, you know, tweet out, uh, at Notch, uh, when are you going to be on the shaft? Hey, there you go. Yeah, spam him a little. I mean, <laughs> He'll love us then, right? <laughs> it's not spam, it's suggestions. <laughs> Uh, I all, I was also in two music videos this week. Two. Um, you whore. I know. I was. I I, uh, I saw a tweet uh, from Josh, who's um, who uh, goes by uh, Hodge Hodge Josh. Josh. Hodge Josh. Hodge Josh. Hodge Josh. Hodge Josh. Hodge Josh. <laughs> and um, and I was on his poop blocks video. Yeah, which, that's awesome. Which, which is a it's a TikTok parody. And um, my Kesha. Yeah. And uh, K E and, dollar sign huh? Yeah, huh. and and he uh, so he did this poop box video, and I was in that, and then also this week Brent did a video, a tribute to the Shaftlands. Yeah, yeah, and I was in it, throwing bones. I, I was throwing bones and throwing balls, at uh, <laughs> at uh, yeah, at at Clyde. Yeah, there yeah. was a lot of ball throwing. Yep. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of videos came out this week, music videos. Yep. Uh, Welsh Pixie. Yep, Welsh Pixie. Out. That's a really yep. good That's one. right. Yeah. Yep, she put out Did a, a video song. on the excellent Gargamel world. If you haven't tried, uh, create a new seed uh, as a Gargamel, all yeah. lowercase letters, and uh, it's awesome. I, it's awesome. Mm, another so good, good about it. It is it's a desert one. It is made of of crazy tall mountains with uh, with cave openings, and it's all about uh, either really flat ground or really huge monumental. Uh, caverns and, and mountains and stuff. So it's the terrain is, is crazy. In fact, there's even some floating islands that have trees on them. And they're just completely floating islands just hanging out. Really weird world. So, yeah, check that out. Um, another one I tried was Glacier. Have you been on Glacier? Isn't that no. the same as Gargamel? 
No. I heard someone saying it was basically the same as uh, a glacier. Yeah. I don't know. Um, glacier I'm starts playing. you off next to this really cool valley with a big waterfall coming into it. It's really neat. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. There's some really, this is really cool adding the seeds. Have you heard of the 404 challenge? Yes. I, I want to do it so bad. Um, but I kind of want to do it the opposite way. I, I kind of want to see how fast I can die. <laughs> <laughs> nice. See, Eric and I are working on a 404 challenge where uh, uh, we're, we're going to uh, preload it and go in and build us a house down at the bottom and then go back up at top and act like we're starting the 404 challenge and then get down there and be like, oh, there's a house. Spoilers. You know, because <laughs> you know? Eric God. cheats on everything. Eric cheats on everything. Snape so. killed Dumbledore, you jerk. <laughs> Uh, uh, also, Sorry, for people who don't know what it is, it's like uh, there's a map called the 404 Challenge, and basically what it is is there's uh, you, the, the, if you create a new world with the seed 404, just the numbers, it will generate uh, a specific location, this sort of gravelly area by uh, water, and if you sort of dig in that gravel, it will basically sink you down this horribly huge sinkhole, right, that goes all the way down to like bedrock, effectively. And down there, there's this ginormous cave system with lava and water and stuff. And the idea is that, you know, you, you sort of gear yourself up during the day. And then when night falls, you have to go down into this cave um, and, you know, try and survive as long as you can down there. I don't know whether you're supposed to. I don't think you're make, supposed to make yourself make your way out. But the idea is that you kind of there's no real kind of good goal towards the end. I think that a well, goal the- would be you're not allowed to leave till you dig diamonds for example i think well, that would be quite cool well the real do. issue is you can't mm-hmm. you, you you're, they don't want you to use torches that's the that's the yeah. really rough part no. right well there's right. plenty I of lava though for light there's lava yeah, to light you, have, you up but but you have it to doesn't find... make very good viewing for a youtube series does it if you can't oh. use torches that's well, now, true. i mean a lot of people have complained about my torch use in the youtube series oh, but if i didn't use so many torches there would be more people complaining that it's just dark all the time well bob mills um, who so was Bob Mills, who was on the show two weeks ago, he did a 404 challenge video, and he he actually he kicked his he he used a um, a After Effects filter, I think, or something oh, that, to brighten it up. To br- basically, it looks kind of like he's got a flashlight pointing in front of him. Oh yeah, Ooh. that's right. Yeah, so that it, was it cool. yeah, so it worked pretty well. Yeah, um, I think it's called cheating, but it's pretty cool. Yeah. But you know, we <laughs> and, and I think he used some cheaters. Blocks. In note plots. <laughs> Wait, all I heard was note plots. <laughs> yeah, you're not supposed to use note blocks in the 404 challenge. Oh, really? <laughs> that sucks. Uh, also, I, I wandered. Um, uh, one thing I, 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 I've been. I decided to continue that big fat road that I've been making on the Shaftlands, the, the sandstone that's, that's one. That's P H A T. Yeah. <laughs> fat. Um, and uh, I actually got Gata and Seagon to help me. We got to this valley and we built this arch. I think you saw it. Um, built this arch going out and and uh, had a lot of fun planning all that out. And then also I've been like zipping around all the beaches uh, on the Shaftlands trying to fix them where people dig the huge oh sandy holes out of everything and leave these. Oh, you know that could be creeper damage. No, no, it's you'll you can tell because it has one sand, one piece of sand holding all the water back, oh, and then God. there is this huge hole down to stone gutted. where people have pulled out all the sand and, and and it's just ugly. So I've been walking around fixing beaches. And so what the, do you do to fix it? Well, I fill it with stone, and then I put a layer of sand on top of it. Oh, okay. So I make a new beach. Okay. But what? it's just going to trick people. Now they're going to dig down and think they're getting sand and not. And it's just no, they'll, gonna... they'll they'll dig one thing of sand and they'll then they'll get to stone. And they'll go, oh, this is not a good place to get sand from now on. <laughs> and they should just turn it into a big lava pit, and then they won't worry about getting sand there anymore. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, also, have you seen the statues of us on the Shaftlands? No. I just built one of me today. <laughs> well, there is a there there. Uh, I, I is that I, an ego thing? I, I, I think I don't know. <laughs> you build your own statue. Yeah, you're not yeah. supposed to build your own. That's like making your own Wikipedia page. You can't do that. Well, I did that too. I'm a <laughs> cheater too, Eric. No, I didn't. I didn't actually do that. But uh, uh, no, I don't know. Uh, and anyway, I'll tell. I'll talk about it in my part. Go on. Um, statues of us. Anyway, oh, awesome. uh, anyway, there are there are, there are three. There's statues of us, and it's the three of us, and it's our Minecraft skins, and we are we are giant. Uh, people and our hands are all touching, and it's it's. it's are we like cool. fist bumping or something? Yeah, we're all oh, we're all cool. putting our hands into the middle. 
cool. And yeah, I, d- I didn't wash my hands before I did that, by the way. And we're really tall. We figured. Think about that every time you see that statue. Well, me and Wes are wearing little rubber gloves because we don't know where your hands have been. Well, I put those gloves on before I gave them to you. No, oh, now there's a problem. <laughs> anyway, continue, Wes. <laughs> and then additionally, uh, my favorite thing on our server right now is the flying spaghetti monster. Yes, oh, I he's love in that the video. Thing. Yeah, I know. So, and you can see him if you go look at the seagulls video. Somebody built the giant sp- uh, fl- uh, flying spaghetti monster, and that's it's awesome. awesome. Well, I'll, I'll transition over to me since you're talking about the video. Yeah, uh, that's I, I did a lot of that this week. Was working on the uh, seagulls video. It's I, I just used a song from uh, a band I played in, geez, like 15 years ago. Uh, but it's kind of timeless. Like the song, still, you know, it sounds like something could come out. I was singing it in the shower today. Yeah. At least I, I try to tell myself that. <laughs> Uh, but it's about the Shaftlands and all the cool buildings on the Shaftlands, about friends and, uh, you know, all that good lovey-dovey stuff. So, you know, yeah. uh, less than three to everybody out there. Go watch the video. <laughs> it's on YouTube. Uh, and then uh, I've been playing with Seeds as well because I thought, you know, if I was a programmer and I put in this thing Seeds, I would do some weird things like, you know, you put in my name, right, and you'll get something cool. Right, or put in Notch's name, or put in or you know Lewis. Notch's fiance's name, and maybe there would be a sign there, like something bizarre that says like "Will you marry me?" or something like that. Uh, you know, you know, yeah. some crazy <laughs> crap like that. And so I've been like trying all these names, Jeb, you know, at Jeb, going taking their Twitter name, taking their real name, taking <laughs> nothing, absolutely nothing. <laughs> so either they haven't done it yet, or uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe uh, Swedish coders are different from American coders. Yeah. Have you thought about typing all this stuff in Swedish? Oh, God. That's another day <laughs> of my life gone. <laughs> Thanks. Come here, translate.google.com. Uh, and besides that, I built a statue of myself today, and I thought it was awesome. Because <laughs> uh, I was building a mod island. I, yeah. I've been, okay, I've been cheating some on the oh. server. And I've just been going on and changing everything to, uh, and it's funny because everybody will be like, man, why is the server lagging? And I'm sitting there laughing going, well, because I just changed a million blocks to sand, you know, <laughs> that's why it's lagging. But yeah. I don't tell them that. Anyway, so uh, I built a statue of me there and I was going to build a statue of all of us, but now I'll just go copy and paste the one they did. And yeah. Move it there. yeah. Copy all of their They're hard good. work. Yeah. And then yeah. put a sign that says Brent made this. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I did this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, besides that, you know, just uh, uh, doing stuff. So, Eric? Cool, man. All right, so this week I've been doing a lot of cheating. And, yeah! Uh, so, uh, I, okay, I'm building a new oh, DJ booth for a new Minecraft Rave video. And uh, this one is, uh, is, is bigger and better and crazier and stuff. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to really um, spoil anything. So. I'll, I'll give it a little spoiler. I saw it last night. It's awesome. It's, it's pretty crazy. And it's, and I'll just tell you right now, Snape killed Dumbledore. He did. <laughs> uh, but, you know, this one uh, features the repeater block, and uh, I've had a lot of fun playing with this thing. And uh, I've, I, I'm able to make some really complex circuits uh, that are a whole lot smaller, a whole lot smaller. So I'm taking advantage of space. So this one is, is not just about um, a, a floor, a landscape with lots of, of uh, flashy lights and and note blocks this one is um crazy anyway so th- it's it's really cool and by the way the world that i'm creating this on is uh seated by, uh from gargamel uh <laughs> there's that name again and uh, I'm, I'm gonna put this up for download and i'm gonna put signs so that you can download it and you'll be able to find the different areas to go to and uh so and you know I haven't really had any time to play the game other than just uh, creating this thing, so that's really it. For okay, me. so uh, uh, what have you guys been up to this week? Well, let's start with me uh, and Lewis. Simon. Yeah, Simon, what have you been up to? What have I been up to? Well, my computer has been on the fritz. It's it's been a, a blooming nightmare. I don't mind telling you that it's been a blooming nightmare. Um, <laughs> I've been fritz. playing Rift. Playing a nice bit of Rift. How do you like it? It's a kind of cool game. It's like World of Warcraft, only it's better, but also worse. <laughs> That's a good way to put it, I think. Um, it's better, but also worse. Um, Are we going to see so some Yachts cast that, for Rift? I was, I was updating my Windows to Service Pack 1, Windows 7, and Rift crashed as I was doing so. And that completely 
destroyed my computer. It just it literally caught fire, and <laughs> oh, okay, it didn't literally caught fire. It, it was it was a nightmare though. Oh, there was yeah, it was a disaster. So you're using a different computer. I'm using uh, well, Lewis's old computer right now, which is a little bit weird. We've been just fooling around, playing. There's lots of lots of demos of big games coming out, like I mentioned earlier. I mean, I was I was playing a bit of Crisis Two multiplayer. <laughs> I was playing a bit of Dark Spore. Um, have you heard of Dark Spore? It's kind of like it's made mm -hmm. by Maxis, who made Spore. You know, they so just they have play Minecraft. Lewis. They're all about the Minecraft. They don't care about these other games. <laughs> no, no, I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We play other games. I loved the idea of Spore. The game itself just kind of. Flopped. What's, it was awful, wasn't yeah. it? What's... Anyway, they've taken the Spore character creator and they've basically put it into kind of a, a Pokemon-style hero factory thing where you're supposed to sort of make these he like heroes um, <laughs> out of the Spore character creator, and then you sort of you take them into a level and you fight your way through the level Diablo style. And actually, it's it's quite fun. Like I've quite enjoyed it. Yeah. So that sounds awesome. Yeah. Hmm. Sorry, Hannah's. Creaking in the background. Okay, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into uh, uh, the news. We got news. Oops. All right, let's do it then. From the Minecraft Daily news and updates. <coughs> now, now a couple uh, quick things before we get get to the awards. Uh, definitely go check out uh, c418.org. Uh, his album has come out for the uh, Minecraft Alpha. Uh, official soundtrack uh, we, We've gotten a copy and it's really good. There's some stuff you haven't heard before uh, definitely worth the uh, 399 it is Yeah, get y'all bleeping in your blooping on <laughs> And the uh, other thing is uh, that where you can spend some money is the uh, Kickstarter for the uh, two-player productions Minecraft the story of Mojang 14k. That's all they need now They've gotten 136k and they need 14k in 19 days to go. Oh my god, that's awesome! Wow. So what do you have like, you been really? So this is going ahead, is it? Yeah. yeah they really need that much money to make. A, of course like, they do. Oh, yeah. It's expensive. Oh, yeah. yeah, it costs a lot. Those Starbucks they've got to order in <laughs> for the film crew, which is probably like two blokes. You know, they got a lot of overheads. Yeah. I don't believe that it costs that well, much money. I genuinely don't. We spoke to someone who produces content for like Sky. He makes video game productions, and he said that, you know, it could be done for a third. What are of you that. suggesting? Are you suggesting this is some kind of scam or something, Lewis? You should well, be very careful. Profiteering. You could get into legal trouble <laughs> if you were to say something like that. Choose okay. your words very carefully. I'm not going to say anything, but. I'm looking forward to watching Move on! Move it better on. be bloody good for that much money is what I'm saying. It better be good. <laughs> well, right? I don't know if you've seen the trailers or stuff already. I, I think they've done a, a great job of that. And I, mean, I just don't know give, whether you... it'll be a shadow of Israel, though. I mean, I don't know whether it'll you know, oh, be Oscar God. winning, will it? They should do Oscars for video games. <laughs> 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 video game productions on YouTube. That's what they should do. I heard some news this week out of Notch at GDC. Apparently, he said um, he said the old piracy isn't theft thing. He's obviously from Sweden, but he said that you know if you steal a car, the original is lost. But if you copy a game, there are simply more of them in the world. And that's obviously okay. like you know quite a cliched kind of thing. But it's okay. interesting that Notch has gone out there and said it as a video game developer designer yeah. well but he also said that the the key was to constantly update your game and to yeah. and to create and add more to it and that if you if if game designers were doing that they would turn pirates into customers well exactly and that's yeah. what tf2 and left 4 dead and valve have done with their games and such and other people are doing very successfully providing you know regular updates it's, it's why you know, Wow's so it's got so many subscribers because they they time their updates very well uh, to keep people always interested and there's always new content around the corner. Um, yeah, it's it's a model that works and I think it's it's a good it's a good excuse. Yeah. I don't know. So Minecraft uh, won five awards at GDC. Uh, 
Let's see. Mm-hmm. So he won audience award from the IGF as well as uh, the grand prize. And then he won from uh, the GDCA. He, he got the best debut, uh, downloadable, and uh, best innovation in games. That's a lot. You know, I was noticing, uh, I was watching the live stream, and, and he just kept getting up there and getting awards, and it was like, you know, I mean, I guess everyone's rooting for him. Everybody kind of knows that, that, that he is going to go up there for, uh, um, you know, a number of, of awards. But his, you know, his speeches kind of got shorter and shorter, you know, and he's well, kind of thinking of something to say, you know. And I, I swear, if he went out there the sixth time, he might even mention this show, you know, like <laughs> kind of grabbing for content, like, oh, the chef guys, hey, what's up, you know. <laughs> Um, but that was that was cool. I liked watching that. Did you guys watch that uh, the streaming of GDC? Uh, no. no. When we when was watch. it anyway? When was this? This uh, week. Yeah. When was it? Is that like thir- I was talking to you on the phone about it. The awards were Wednesday night. Wednesday night. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Wednesday night. Yeah. And uh, I don't happy- even know what. What was I doing Wednesday night, Lewis? You were asleep. From under the duvet. I was asleep. Okay. Which is Thursday morning for you, I think. (laughs) Uh, Also, still asleep. (laughs) Happy Man pointed out that also at GDC, Notch promised that he will be adding dogs. Oh, Oh. yeah, that's right. God, yeah, yeah, I heard about that. Molinier. (laughs) Peter said, I want a dog. Oh, Mm. that's. Yeah. I'm I'm glad that he would put dogs in there and not cats. I mean, and that's just me. I, I don't. I don't like cats. Maybe personally. you'll be able to kill cats though. No, what, we're talking. What, what, and get like cat fur and line your shotgun. house with cat why, fur. Why the cat hate? What's musket. up with that? Do you have a cat? <clears throat> I did oh. till last week. Ouch! Oh, oh yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Uh, oh. So yeah. did you? Uh, anyway, too, yeah. Too um, soon. Yeah. Too soon. Moving on. Yeah. Moving on. Uh-huh. Um, so, um, <laughs> well, let's get into a whole new segment for that one. How about that? Let's do this. Sightings. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Oh my god. It's so intense. Sightings. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is just your that wake up call for you. Uh, let's that see. was epic. That was epic. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's time for sightings. All right, then. So we mentioned Poop Box already. That's a parody of TikTok by Kesha, and this is done by Hodge Josh. And does this next one need any, like, links to it? It already has, like, 4 billion views, I think, on the The TNT. TNT. But it's so good. I haven't even seen it yet. It I'll is, be you honest. Seen it yet? Oh, okay. I haven't looked at it yet. Yeah, it's it, it is a this is a first rate machinima. I, is it good? I, you know, yeah. I was upset because you know it took three months for In Search of Diamonds, an original song with a great video, to get a million hits, and TNT did it in three five minutes. days. I think they did it in five mm. minutes. In three days, they had a million hits, and I was yeah. like, "That's awesome." And I mean, it's a good parody, and it's and it's filmed well, and uh, you know, but at the same time, you know, there's a little bit of you know clan pride here wishing that you know it was a little early too i I think that um as we go on these things will get more popular faster you know yeah virally faster well Um, what i don't get is they actually have uh revenue sharing for their video and i wouldn't think they could do that if it's uh, not an original well he did recreate the song with (laughs) uh note blocks okay so that's all right he didn't use a karaoke track or anything so there was a lot of work that went into it uh, and, yeah, and this is a parody yeah. of uh, Dynamite by Tayo Cruz. Is it Tayo? Tayo. I have no idea. Mm-hmm. Tayo. Uh, something. I don't know. It's a good song. It's a good, very good video. It's so much work went into it. So yeah. you got to give them a bit of respect. Yeah. Um, they're a big Minecraft channel as well, aren't they? Apparently. Yeah, he did a series of videos where he was trying to get his flying black Pegasus. Oh, nice. Which was kind of kind of entertaining. So those things are cool. Oh, this <laughs> this does look good. Yeah, you should watch it later. Oh, I'm watching not, it right now. When we're not doing a show. So, Do so we. what amazing things have you guys seen uh, lately? Oh, wow. I've seen some very amazing things in Minecraft. But <laughs> Oh, in Minecraft? <laughs> yeah, videos. Or... Like, in general. <laughs> I saw a man sneeze so hard that his eyeballs <laughs> popped out. <laughs> so, I mean, if you're only interested in, in what happened in Minecraft. I can't really hear about I this think... one. <laughs> Did like an uh, eyeball hit you in the face? <laughs> well, they say that every, you know when you sneeze, you can't help but close your eyes. Right. You know your eyelids have to close. 
And this guy, he was trying to, you know, for a bet, keep his eyelids open. Yeah. Um, and that's what happens. If you try and keep your eyelids open and you sneeze, your eyes will just pop out. Is this on so YouTube? There we go, kids, if you're bored in school. I think I heard about this urban pepper. legend. Yeah. Now, you saw this, like, for real? I'm making this up. <laughs> it was on the internet, but I'm <laughs> fairly sure it was real. I want to see it. I'll, I'll, tell you, watch this. I'll tell you what I've seen for real. There was a guy who was doing shots at a bar, and you know how you're supposed to like lick the salt, shoot the tequila, and then bite the lime? Uh, mm -hmm. He snorted the salt, did the tequila, and squeezed the lime in his eye. Oh. oh well, then did he that? sneeze and make Why his eyeball pop out? <laughs> wow. That would bring the story around full circle to actually uh, go with the show. Anyway. Well, this is a good topic. I, I find it hard to drive around and have to sneeze because you have to take your eyes off the road for a bit to sneeze. <laughs> I, I almost, I almost hit a crossing guard once because I sneezed. Oh yeah, yeah. He had I almost hit a crossing guard one day because she wouldn't let me go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I gotta have some road till, rage. You didn't sneeze till later that night. No, I just spit on him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm just kidding. I, I love crossing guards. I wouldn't really oh. do that. We do. He has a poster of a crossing guard. No, but would they get upset center. if you were driving by and you like turned to sneeze and and like, oh, there's a crossing guard, so you held your eye open and it popped out <laughs> and hit him in the face? <laughs> okay, yeah. so we're going downhill here. All Let's right. go ahead and move on to uh, this one. Something that causes internet controversy. Yeah. <laughs> Internet internet controversies, right. really? Yeah, follow our Shaft uh, Twitter and you'll okay. understand what I'm talking about. Anyway, so we've got uh, in resources this week the uh, Minecraft Survival Guide, uh, which you can get at minecraftsurvivalguide.com, and that's uh, out from uh, Wolf21 and crew. Yeah. Minecraft gaming gurus reveal every detail about Minecraft you can use right now to dominate your very own craft world without the use of illegal hacks. 100% legal, 100% legit. 100 you have to this buy this. Looks a bit dodgy. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Are they officially sponsoring the show, though? We should, no, we should ask that. No. But now, uh, okay, so we can just say it sounds like a massive, weird scam <laughs> ripoff thing. Are we legally <laughs> allowed to, to say buy that? Cash no. with the Minecraft Survival Guide. <laughs> Sign up now. <laughs> And we won't hack your account. <laughs> no, these guys do a lot of work. I'm, sure too. <laughs> this, I'm this, sure it's completely above board, and the people who are involved put a lot of work into it. And it, you know, they're very nice people. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't sue us. Yeah, he, the guy Actually, who's doing it is this laughing. This isn't even our show. If you want to sue someone, sue these guys. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Look at all the equipment they've got in that studio. They must have tons of money. Go off to them. <laughs> How much do you have to pay for this? What is this shit? I don't think the site even works. Uh, now, the, the the guy who wrote this is in the chat room right now. I think and I've he, got a virus. And and he is laughing at your jokes, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> and they, and, I and think you, I've got a virus. And also Simon. check out their videos. They, they do a lot of good videos. Yeah. Like you got a virus. Is your nose running? Do you feel <laughs> the need to sneeze? For God's yeah. sake. Keep wait, wait, your eyes sneeze. closed. Let's see if I can do this road. live on the air. I'm going to see if I can get my eye to pop out. Ready? <laughs> I feel it coming. Someone throw some pepper over here. That's gross. Uh, okay, not happening. It's an eye popping I'll try later. Time. Okay, right. so. That Don't leaves... go to that site in, ever... in summary is the answer. It looks oh. like a scam. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's definitely not a scam. <laughs> definitely not a scam. Those guys are good guys. Anyway, um, uh, but, you know, if you do uh, listener contributions, let's just hit that. Are we going to the next one? Yeah. All righty then. Let's do it. This is called dead air. Listener. 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 Contributions. <laughs> that was awesome. That was really good. That was sent to us uh, from <coughs> Spartan Man one two two two. Spartan Man. Can can you? Uh, yeah. That was pretty good. Yeah. I liked it a lot. It was special. Do we do we want to uh, talk about Audible here for a second, or are we just going to slip that in later in post? Uh, sure. Tell us about Audible. 
So, uh, you know, uh, if you've listened to the past couple of shows, Audible is, Audible is sponsoring our show. Um, so uh, uh, you, they have a free trial for you. You can get it at uh, audibletrial.com slash the shaft. And it's a free book. Uh, you just got to sign up and you get a 14-day free trial. Uh, so just head on over there. Um, it's a good thing to listen to while you play Minecraft, right? Yeah, hours and hours of Minecraft. You can listen to a book in 80 hours that you play Minecraft. Uh, and if you're watching HBO for the, uh, what's the show coming on? Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Um, they have that book on there, and they actually have some really good readers uh, for it. Yeah. Uh, it sounds really good. You know what I like is... Uh, X- and the next book's coming out, too. I they know. Re- they released a date for it, so I'm excited about that. Yep, June. I like uh, the X Factor series. It's uh, uh, Isaac Asimov and a bunch of uh, science fiction writers that uh, did uh, radio plays. Or radio plays were, were adapted from these stories. Uh, in the 1940s, and they're they're so cool. And there's a there's a ton of them on Audible. And of course, I mean, you can sign up and get one for free. But they're really fun to listen to because you know they're straight up radio dramas with really corny sound effects. And whoa, whoa <laughs> it's an sounds amazing. Whoa. I'm a huge huge fan of all that stuff. So I'd love to I'd love to do that. I've been looking yeah. for good audio books. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the Game of Thrones you mentioned. We've been chatting with one of the actors who is. Um, <laughs> going to be in it and we're hopefully going to have a chat to him at some point in the future oh, so you know, we're cool. huge fans of this stuff you're talking about mm. oh, um cool. we're talking to we're going to be talking to hodor from game of thrones the new hbo thing aren't we simon nice we are hmm. we are indeed wow so we can ever like Brit, arrange a, a convenient time for <laughs> for all of us to talk to him. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh well we're free anytime yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, silent cool. You're not invited. You're not invited. I thought I heard a cricket. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh. So go check that out. Audibletrial.com slash the shaft. And let's see. The first one we have here is from Edwin. Edwin, uh, I would love you to talk more about Sweden. I am, uh, I am self from there, and when you talked about the Swedish army knives and mountains, that's from Switzerland, I laughed so much. <laughs> Keep it up. You are the best. That was a good... I am glad accent. the person from Sweden got my joke. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you guys know, uh, a, a few weeks ago, uh, somebody... Uh, what, who was it? We, we, I had said originally that Notch was from Norway or something like that. And someone corrected yeah. me. Netherlands. Yeah, that almost ruined our career as uh, Minecraft it's all the same, podcasters. Isn't it? it's all the same, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, well. So then it's someone. Snow and moose. <laughs> Meese, I think. Yeah, right? Meese. Meeses. Um, but someone pointed out it was from Sweden, and so then to continue the joke, I started saying, "Oh, well, I love their chocolate and their and their army knives and." Yeah. The cuckoo clocks. Yes. <laughs> and their fish. I still love their fish. <laughs> so yeah, good. Swedish fish is great. Uh, All right. I'm so- Inga from Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can do voices too. Really, I can. All right. Okay, so I trust you. So I'm gonna do this one from Unts. Untsen. He wants to get people to help with registrations. Done. Is this more of an internal email to us? Uh, I guess so. But for I our guess, server. But we should let but it. But done. Know. We got uh, Seagon and uh, uh, Bob Mills and. Uh, Sugar are all on that, and they've been adding people left and right. I haven't touched it this week, and they've gotten everybody added. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I've noticed that the registration thread has two notes in it, like, half the time. Yeah. I get So thank you, guys. Yep. That takes off a big load off can my we, plate. Can we get a call screen or two to help me out? There's 150 calls this week, and I only chose yeah. two because I only had time to listen to two. Yeah. Uh, do, would that be an interesting show just to have – a hundred phone calls going for three hours. Uh, sure. Maybe if we, we don't do have a guest, let's I... take a week off. That would be awesome. Oh no, wait! You guys are looking at me mean. We could pa- <laughs> we could hand it off to Simon <laughs> and Lewis and just say, "Here's a hundred calls." Yeah. Yeah. Would y'all want to do that for us? <laughs> we go halves. You could take half the calls. We could take half the calls. <laughs> there you go. Done. Of course, Lewis would just in response. He would just like start swearing and talking about note blocks or something. <laughs> insane, note blocks. So. Note block rage. Uh, I think he's asleep now. Yeah. So you want to do I this? I can't next? promise that I won't do that. Yeah. So now I'm signing up to an Audible <laughs> account on your referral code. Sweet. Um, awesome. it's, what oh is it? The God. Shaft. 
Well, I've forgotten it already. Audible. I copy pasted it. AudibleTrial.com slash the Audible shaft. AudibleTrial.com. AudibleTrial.com slash the shaft. Yeah, I've just signed up. I'm going to download um, I'll download the Black Company audio book. I haven't nice. read it, and it's quite good, apparently. So that's, that's like a similar vein to the George R. R. Martin thing. Ooh, I'll have to uh, try that one. Yeah, I heard good things about the Black Company stuff. I had a I had a um, a D and D game that was supposedly spawn, uh, modeled after it. Oh yeah, um, yeah. Hmm. It's quite old. It's like it was written in yeah. like the eighties, like eighteen ninety eighty four or something. But I mean, it's it's apparently it's like quite dark and stuff. I'm quite a big fan of the kind of epic that's a bit. It's not too elves it's and quite fairies. Old. And a bit more it's from the nineteen eighties. Well, that's that's fairly old as these things. Go. I was born in '83. Mm. Well, one youngest here, I think, aren't I? I, I, I graduated so. high school in '86. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Eric, you want to read this one from Phil? All right, Phil says we're going to hit these emails, uh, phone calls. So they like voicemails, and you're going to play them, and we're going to just sh- insult the people who sent them in, or not insult them. <laughs> I don't think we're going to do them now. We're uh, not going to go through a hundred oh. bloody <laughs> Yeah. No, 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 we are, we are. Jesus <laughs> Christ, we <we're> on <laughs> bloody <just> night. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we wouldn't do that, do you? Yeah. Well, sleep, but yeah. that's still quite important. <laughs> uh, let's see, we got one from Phil who says, I usually get the MP3 of the show off YouTube. What? Yeah, he usually goes and watches everything on he get he he rips it into an mp3 i guess oh anyway yeah. i'll the, keep reading sorry yeah, i always just this, stop the sentence and the, this is the whole reason why it's in here if anybody's actually doing this we can fix that with one simple right link, okay right he says i usually get the mp3 from the show off youtube but was wondering are the first 10 shows available online anywhere or have i just missed them okay so phil i'm going to introduce you to this thing called uh itunes you can go there and it has every single mp3 uh, for you, and you can have it downloaded automatically, so it's just waiting there for I you in the choose. morning. I choose. What is this? I choose. I choose. <laughs> I choose. But we did not. Did we? We didn't have videos of the first ten episodes up. No. Right. Did but we? he's yeah. just getting the MP3s. Yeah. So he just wants the audio. Yeah. But that—that's the reason why the first ten episodes are not on YouTube. Is we weren't. Well, we weren't incidentally, I—I I didn't actually. I never pressed the record button until episode ten. Yeah. And we're thinking about going back and doing like hand puppets and reenacting the first ten episodes to put those up, but mm-hmm. we yeah. need to see if people would be interested in watching that. Yeah, little sock puppets. The next message is from Bryce twenty four. He says, "Today I was playing Minecraft and listening to the Shaft, and my three year old cousin came and started watching me play and listening to you guys. He thought you were hilarious, hilarious, H A L L, hilarious." <laughs> And after all <laughs> area, well, he's three, so he probably didn't True. know how to spell it properly. And after about an hour, your show ended and he started crying and threw a fit. I asked him why. And he said he liked the show and didn't want it to end. So now every Monday, Uh-oh. me and him listen to the show. Well, until the, the oh, F-bombs are being gosh. thrown. Yeah. I sh- I, but I'm swearing. Can we bleep out all of the swears? Yeah, I'll, I'll bleep out. <laughs> swears. Yeah. I don't want to corrupt the youth of tomorrow well, by, we had, like... Uh, if you just if you uh, just want to keep a kid quiet, couldn't you just give them like some gin? That's what my mother did to me, and I turned out perfectly fine. <laughs> it all makes sense now. Well, we had C four eighteen on the show last week, and and uh, there were eleven bleeps throughout. Only, only eleven? Yeah, only eleven. Yeah, I was expecting a lot like more a than lot that. More. Those Germans, you know. Mm-hmm. I guess yeah. I did more than that in like the first. Two sentences. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why do people get in such a tight bunch underwear stuff about cursing? They're not so censored, uh, you know, outside of America. I- is that right? I mean, like, um, you know, I mean, it, commercials and TV. speech. Yeah. And also, swearing is big and clever. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, when y'all go to Starbucks, you're like, you know, give me that fucking mo- mochaccino, right? <laughs> Now I gotta bleep you now. Yeah, I gotta get on the train at some point. <laughs> mommy, mommy, what does fucking mean? <laughs> See, oh. you're gonna get that. You're gonna be faced with that now. Uh, oh, this oh. is too fucking much. Oh, you too. <laughs> oh man, cussing is so he fun. He start- well, Lewis started it. Still. <laughs> Bill Barn. I've been holding that in for 23 episodes now. 
What's that George Carlin list of curses that oh, you shouldn't God. Oh, let's not go there. Let's not go there. <laughs> no, 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 no. <sighs> All right. What's next? Uh, really bum bum. Really, really bum bum. Where are we? Uh, we okay, uh, Thomas Flight. Here's a de excavation <laughs> station question. Is there anything you wish wasn't in Minecraft? Hmm. Anyone? Anyone? Simon? Lewis? Uh, What's the point in gravel? What's the point in gravel, really? To have it fall on your head and kill you? I I actually uh, try making a gravel path up to your house, just for the sound. Hmm. Hmm. Is that really worth it, though? It's a nice soothing... It's not really worth it, though, right? Pitter patter. It looks like shit. <laughs> That's true. <Gravel. laughs> oh, sorry. It does. Stop swearing! What's going on here? I'm the one who swears. I've like sworn twice during this. They all just constantly. I've never heard the like. You're worse than a doctor. What's the thing? What's he, man? Doctor. You're worse than a doctor. Do you else doctors cuss? A docker. Oh, a docker. docker. He works at a dock. Oh. A famous, very blue speech. It's like oh. our, it's like our uh, American construction workers. Yeah. Mm. Do they whistle at women when they walk by? Uh, no, because women don't walk by a dock. <laughs> Sailors do. And uh, whistling at them would probably give the wrong sort of, you know, message. Uh, but yeah. Um. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, dear. Okay. So, so did we answer that question? <laughs> just gravel. Gravel's our answer. Gravel. Just in general. Gravel. Yeah. Anybody, y'all have a say in this? Uh, I y'all are on the show. Y'all can talk. Uh, I can't think of some anything. Some I don't like, some I don't want. Say, take it out, Notch. Take it out now. I don't know if there's that thing. Um, mm, uh, I don't creep. want griefing. Just get, rid just get rid of creepers. No. Oh, no. The world would... Ex would like, just, but it's just, well, it's that little, something bad would happen if that, that little hoppy like you're you're in a hill you know you're walking up a hill and then you just see that little head pop up on the other side of the hill that, that's truly terrifying no I, I i'm a big fan of the creepers yeah i, yeah. I think you're right i think the creepers have to be there everyone everyone wants to get rid of them but if you you know you'd be sad to see them go really yeah. they're, a, they're into yeah. it, aren't they There'd be some sort of uprising. I, i'm going with pigmen you don't want those in? Pigmen. What is the freaking point of pigmen? They're a bit annoying. I don't really like chickens either. What's the point of them? They're a bit annoying. <laughs> God, the, I... the list is quickly getting longer. We should move on. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're grass. saying that they should get rid of most grass. <laughs> well, in the other reason, I said, what about like vanilla game? And now you're saying, oh, I hate all the mobs. All the mobs are really annoying. There shouldn't be any mobs other than like one cow that follows you around loyally. <laughs> <laughs> and all that dirt and rock. Yeah, I always get in the way of good time. <laughs> hey, Notch just tweeted he's definitely not going to be on the show now. All uh, right. Oh, well. <laughs> good God. good going. It's all that swearing, all that effing and jeffing. <laughs> scared him off. <laughs> <laughs> Poor man. Oh. I'll read the long one if you want me to, if you want to do the next one. Or right? we could just move on. Should we move on? A anything good here? Are we going to miss out well, on there is there is kind of a, a rant against a... me. You want to read the rant against me? Is it a rant? Sort of, kind of. Okay. That's, Maybe we should have really Simon wrong. or... I don't know. I'll, basically what it uh, says... Put in the professor voice. I want to hear the professor voice for it. Oh? Huh? No. Professor voice? Uh, it says, Dear Shafters... Dear Shafters! Do doofen, <laughs> doofen schmertz. Doofen, doofen schmertz. Schmertz. <laughs> schmertz oh. I haven't been able to do my doofen schmertz lately. I don't know. Oh, it's, yeah. It hadn't been working. Oh. Uh, it says, Dear Shafters, as someone who's been following from episode one, uh, if the only, if blah, 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 if a person's only exposure to Minecraft was through your show, they'd think Minecraft is only fun on multiplayer, and Wes has found a way to make Minecraft not fun and actually a chore. What? Um, That's true. It's very true. He says, I don't play on any multiplayer servers, uh, and... He says, sadly, when I listen to the shaft, I hear nothing for me. I've been reduced to sitting around the water cooler saying, wouldn't it be cool if, which is fun in small doses, popular with the mob, but it gets old fast. He says, be creative, think outside the box, be open to non-Minecrafty things, whatever that means, and Wes, stop filling in holes if you don't want to. With Why doesn't he just, like, make some fucking friends and <laughs> play multiplayer? There we go. Problem yeah. solved. So this Problem is... Problem solved, bugger. This is Jeez. For, 
<laughs> this is from Dale from Chicago, Epic Beard Man. Now, I'll say this. To me, filling in holes is zen-like. Like, I, to me, it's it's – Lately, like sometimes, that's what Charlie Sheen said, by the way. But continue. yeah, <laughs> and whenever I fill in the hole, I'm winning. But uh, <laughs> pure she- genius. But uh, I, I go around and I clean stuff up because I like being. I, I'm. Kind, it's it's like supporting my community. It's it's filling in things that have been damaged. It's it's cleaning up. It's it's yeah. helping polishing the server like a, a little healer. bit. Oh. Yeah, I, I'm walking Meanwhile, around. Meanwhile. There's like 18 unwashed yeah. plates upstairs. It's like all dust everywhere. <laughs> you know, in your actual yeah. house. You know, this is the, <laughs> this is the problem with the like, reality. You know, this is what I get like, though, as well. It's quite OCD, like games like this, though. And it is. It they is. They bring out stuff like that in you, don't they? Like, yeah. whenever um, I first log on, I've been doing this so long um, that the first thing I do when I log on is I do a lap around spawn and see what people have torn up. And then I fix it. Do a little ground inspection. Yeah, I go around the little spawn island. Your groundskeeper, Willy. I am yeah. exactly. <laughs> Do you have a ride on lawnmower? That you just <laughs> trim the grass up. He's got a, he's got because, a segue with you know. With and blades. I see Eric walk by, and I go, "He's got the shinin." Anyway. <laughs> <Nice>. um, <laughs> So, uh, but yeah, I do a lap around spawn and then I like, I, I increase my spiral a little bit and see if it, I see if the pig farm's been blown up. I look at some of the roads, um, you know, I teleport back to my house. I look to see if there's any big holes in the road. There's probably about 15 to 20 minutes. The first time, whenever I log onto our server for Minecraft, that that's what I do. Mm-hmm. And I like it. It's not that I don't like it. it, it it's I don't know. It's it's just something I do for for. Now everybody. here's a good question for you. When you fill in the holes, do you just fill in the hole at the surface, leaving a little gap underneath, or do you properly fill it all in? Because a lot of the time, when a creeper's blown up a big hole, you look at it and you think, oh dear, there's a <laughs> no. big hole there. Do I go down the bottom of it and? Like fill it all up from the bottom, or do I just put a very thin layer on the top? Of the I skies? will. I will actually go so far as to if if there is a hole in a road, I will put a layer of stone underneath it in order to minimize future damage. I, I'm that uh, good. Yeah. But but if there's a big hole, yes, I will fill it up with stone, and then put a layer of dirt on top of it. See, I I don't do that. I just put like a layer of dirt on top. So when another creeper explodes, there's an even bigger hole. Yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> terrible. You're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> see, and, I, I, and I'll be on the server, and I'll see Wes over there, and I'll be like, "Oh, what's Wes doing?" And I'll go see what, and I'll go over there, and he's like laying out the stone, and I immediately turn around and go the other way because I know if I stay too long, I'll be guilted into helping him fill in this hole. <laughs> And that is not Zen like for me. It's like Zen boring. Well, yeah. now now that now that bucket is working, I have actually changed. I used to do all the holes by hand. I mean, I literally would go and lay down the blocks one by one. Nowadays, I use fill R and fill, uh, and and sometimes mm-hmm. that's another thing I'll do is I'll fix beaches that have been carved up. Yeah. I'll get Are up you like Harry Potter. Yeah, you just. <laughs> Point your wand at it and say, yes. "Fill Sandio," and it just <laughs> fills up. <laughs> yes, that is exactly what I do. <clears throat> so, God. okay, so we got another question here. Uh, I just saw this in the email, so it says, "Hey, the shaft," and um, uh, oh yeah, Yogscast. LOL. You guys are two of my favorite YouTubers, uh, podcasters of all time. Yachtcast whole story inspired me to create my RP server, which I hope will be as as good as your story. I was wondering how you guys get all these characters. Do you just buy all these accounts or use crack clients? Uh, you guys are amazing. Uh, thanks. Wow. Yeah, we bought all the accounts. <laughs> Spent about two hundred and fifty yeah. quid so far, which is quite yeah. a lot. Of money. Yeah, um, a lot of money yeah, been spent. It's worth it, I think, and you know. It's nice to have the accounts because it means we can do a bit of silly stuff like have people go on to other servers and play about as the characters. You know, we don't have to constantly rely on using like cracked accounts. I know a lot of people have um, <laughs> done like gone on to other servers as me or Simon, um, and yeah. there's lots of sort of fake Freak us yourself. around because you know as celebrities, inverted commas in the Minecraft community, <laughs> people. 
react quite strangely when they actually see me or Simon join the channel. And they're not sure if it is the real me or Simon anymore because mm. so many times it's easy to use a crack copy of Minecraft to just go on any old server as an account. So there are a few screenshots posted the other day on our Facebook and they were like all the characters from our Minecraft series all like in a long row as if they were logged in on a server. Mm. And obviously someone's yeah. just used cracked um, accounts. But it's just a non-authenticated like... server where it doesn't check with Minecraft.net if you put the right password oh, in. Right. And you can just bypass it on using like Play Offline um, and go on to like a non-authenticated server. So people... But it still requests the skins from, from the server. So you can you can pretend to be Zephos or Honeydew. If you so do that you... and you pretend to be me, that makes you literally worse than Hitler. Okay? Because don't even <laughs> think you're doing that. All right. <laughs> so you don't feel like it's a uh, uh, like um, an honor in y'all's name if they uh, do a video of y'all and use your. No, name? absolutely. No. I I think it's fantastic. I, well, I don't know if you I think don't. Um... <laughs> How would you like it, Lewis? <laughs> if some kid he makes like a, a mask and he puts it on his face and he films himself shooting an old lady in the street, right? And everyone thinks it's you, and that you've gone on like a, a rampage, and you're like killing old ladies in the street, <laughs> poor helpless old ladies. I mean, they wouldn't like that, would they? No, but and that's the same a, thing. People in a are giving broad, like broad way, though. People making using our accounts to make trailers or to make like fan shots or to make their own machinima or this guy making his own RP server. I mean, he is obviously one of these people who wants to be creative and tell a story and, and have fun and do this kind of creative stuff. He's got stuff his own Minecraft. story to tell with his own characters. Yeah, but what if he doesn't just... have, like, 250 quid to spend on Minecraft accounts? Because, you know... Well, then he should, he should do a paper round and some money <laughs> by lots of copies of Minecraft. Did y'all do There's a what, bunch of paper rounds? <laughs> well, we haven't got any good suggestions for you, but just, just, just do it. <laughs> the thing is, with the Yogscast, is I just say to Simon, right, we're going to do it. And if it's terrible, then we'll worry about it once it's on YouTube. You know? And most mm -hmm. of the time, it's not terrible, is it? So, I think that's yeah. my, my philosophy on stuff. Just goddamn do it and stop worrying about it. Yeah. All right. And well, so, oh, no, where okay. are we? What what's happened here? Um, <laughs> we we uh, got all serious and stuff. I know. Uh, I know. What's up with that? I keep doing this. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I thought y'all told me, yeah, we're getting your podcast with these funny guys and they always <laughs> joke around. Yeah. And all oh dear. Cuss some more. Cuss some more. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What's is that, going is that on? better? I don't know. It's I like, was that like a cow <laughs> cavalry charge. There was like a cow like mooing, it. and then there was a cavalry I, charge. I just figured uh, we needed that. So, uh, cool. All right. <laughs> now that it's quiet again. Well, um, um you know, we're we're basically kind of done with everything. But uh, I got a question for y'all, uh, or just something to keep in mind. We're uh, uh, just announcing, I guess, that we are planning to do a Minecraft convention. Uh, in uh, the great state of Alabama in October. Uh, you can actually go to minecraftcon.com. Uh, Alabama? Be more info. Is yeah. where you live? Yep. Alabama. Alabama. We don't have shoes, and we all have pregnant wives. Does, <laughs> do, who? Ha, what kind of place is that for a Minecraft convention? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it's, a, it's an awesome place. Uh, we're this actually... Kew Gardens. Gosh we, darn it. We have a lot of dirt here. <laughs> yeah. 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 And really, like, really, it comes down to we have not heard anybody else like planning to do one, and it's you know we're not gonna we can't really say hey we're gonna go do one in Sweden, yeah, you know so mm. so anyway, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's good that you're taking my philosophy to heart and just doing it, but yeah. is it gonna be in like a church <laughs> hall and are there gonna be like four people there and like Mrs. Miggins is gonna make like cakes for everyone? <laughs> yeah, no, you know, no, no, no. No, we're hoping to. <laughs> we're getting the guys, or we were going to get the guys to do the documentary, but now uh, you know they don't like us anymore. Uh, after y'all were on here, so. <laughs> um, and, and we were going to have we were going to have Wolf Twenty One. Slacked off a lot of people today. Wolf, Wolf Twenty One was going to come, and then you insulted yeah. his Minecraft guy. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> we're, we're working down the list. Let me see if I, no, we've got a um, a lot of guys for, who do let's plays and stuff that uh, are potentially coming down. We're waiting for their confirmations, but a lot of them are. 
excited about it. Uh, and uh, y'all keep in mind uh, and let us know what it would take to get y'all here uh, as well. And uh, and we've run co- uh, conventions before, so it's not like our first one. So yes. we kind of know what we're getting into. Yeah. And it's going to be at the... we will uh, invite Mrs. Miggins here as well to yes. make cake. <laughs> and delicious, delicious cake. Yum, yum, yum. But, uh, yeah, so uh, keep that uh, minecraftcon.com. Yep. And we're going to look into – we're going to even try to get Notch here. Yeah, we're trying to – It sounds amazing, and I think best of luck for getting it going. (laughs) I think it would be really cool. (laughs) There's got to be – hey, and we're right next to Marshall Space Flight Center. I'm sure there's some science writing that needs to be done here. (laughs) Yes. There we go, Lewis. (laughs) Yes. Moonlighting. There's space space camps here, too. Yeah. You should, like, do – like a paid live stream like Blizzard do at BlizzCon because, you know, that pulls in, like, you know, Ooh, millions yeah. more viewers than um, than the actual, you know, attendance at the conference. Yep, exactly. And Skip also, on. maybe if you could, like, if you... The thing is, Blizzard, like, gets so many viewers because they give away, like, a free companion pet, you know, mm-hmm. to World of Warcraft. So maybe if you, you, like, gave away something that was, like, worth literally nothing but kind of... Um, <laughs> It's a bit Minecraft. Sandwiches. How about Simon's Just duvet? Just give away sandwiches at the convention for people who turn up and are hungry. How about that? We, we will do that. But we, no, I mean, can, can we get your duvet and give that away? Yeah. Will you, will you donate that to, as a prize for the convention? Will we donate what? Sandwich? What? Your duvet cover? Sorry. <laughs> I know oh, you like duvet. sleeping under no! it. No! No, it's mine! <laughs> My God, no! It's priceless. <laughs> uh, joy. So, anyway, that leads us on to uh, the end of the show. Yeah, pimping out some stuff. What y'all got? To, anything y'all want to pimp out? Get everybody to go look at right now. Uh, what have we got on today? We got some Total Biscuit Magica action going on our YouTube channel. What We've is got... the YouTube channel URL, Lewis? I've forgotten what it is. <laughs> <coughs> it's uh, youtube.com slash bluesephos, which is spelt blue and then X-E-P-H-O-S. I have reckon it, we should you... like rename our channel. Yeah, I was, I was wondering. How, we've got... Can you do we've that? Got... We've got the Yogscast YouTube name, but I don't know. We'd have to get in contact with YouTube. I don't think they do it for any old person, though. We'd probably have okay, to, like... Okay, now have, you're have ranting too that. much, Lewis. What can we see on this channel that I've gone <laughs> to on the internet? Uh, do you want to do the... Do you want to do this instead of me? I'm not really the spokesman. I'm the person who does it's all you the work. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm the spokesman. Oh, crap. Well, you can go to the YouTube, you can find videos about Minecraft, and videos about computer games, and there's some funny things on there. There's a lovely song about an elephant, which is hilarious. <laughs> Make sure you watch that. It's really good. No. Oh, dear. And, um, yeah, we're planning all sorts of crazy hijinks, so just keep tuned and sub- subscribed and watch out everyone we're c- we're coming for you <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm Very saying scary. Lewis I don't know what I'm saying I think you should have done this this has been terrible this we're has not been terrib- this has been the shaft <laughs> also your website yagaverse.com hmm? yeah yeah, it's like a fan site, actually, pretty much at the moment. But, yeah, that's going to be our f- official, official site. site. We're getting it fan. pimped out. We've got T-shirts and everything. We're like a real business. We know what we're doing. Cool. <laughs> well, you can go just stra- also just straight to yogcast.com, right? Yogcast.com should work, yeah. That's our old site, but we're going to link it all up properly. And we're in a transitional Twitter? period um, mm. whilst we're doing lots of things. And I think everybody can so. figure out your Twitter as well. Yogscast. Twitter.com Ken, slash Twitter. Jesus we do, Christ. <laughs> we don't really use Twitter, do we, unfortunately? We're more Facebook friendly. Simon's got about <laughs> 7,000 friends on Facebook who harass, harass him. him. Harass so, no, that's not true. I don't have that many. How many do you Just have? Just over 3,000, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <And> your, uh, <laughs> wow. <clears throat> cool. All right. That's a lot of pimpage. Yeah, also, we plucked uh, the hell out of that, didn't we? 
<laughs> also, I want to uh, shout out to Welsh Pixie, who just got a new website this week, welshpixie.com. She did some vocals for me for a new song that I'm going to put out soon, a new Minecraft song. It's pretty awesome. Is well, she a British lady? She's Welsh. She's actually yeah. Welsh. Yeah. Well, that's British. <laughs> All right. We've, we've been, See, we I don't know anything. This, but... Yeah. So, yeah. She's... so Welsh is British, right? And yeah. British and British is English? Well, you have to understand that it's complicated. <laughs> it's complicated. <laughs> it's not there's not really any separation these days, nor they haven't been for the past like 100 years. But, you know, the Great Britain is, you know, Scotland, Wales, England, Northern Ireland. They're all the British Isles. They're all combined. And England is just something that is, is a deprecated name, really. When you it's like Power point. Rangers, basically. Great Britain is Power Rangers. Where the England red is like the chest bit, like the important bit. Maybe with Wales the Wales is on like well. the gay one. Who uh, <laughs> say that? <laughs> like the there drunk wasn't a gay one. Power Ranger. You're thinking of the Teletubbies. And Northern <laughs> Ireland is the one that everyone forgets about. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> Well, there, there, like so many people. There goes our Ooh. Welsh audience. Yeah. <laughs> Good awesome. Well, cool. I think that is it. Yes. Th- thank you both so much for being on the show. It was excellent. It was a, it was a having. very fun train wreck. It was. I would do it again <laughs> and again. Yes. <laughs> Oh no! no. <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll see y'all next Sunday. <laughs> oh God! Why? Why? <laughs> and we're out. Fabulous! <laughs> awesome! Yay! Monkey! <laughs> Monkey Chewy! <laughs> Is that like it's the, the on. Chewy gun? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> So we hope we didn't keep y'all too long. Yeah. We went over two hours. Two hours and oh, 21 God. minutes. It felt like forever. <laughs> yeah. Not in the nicest possible way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That was awesome. Woo. So you guys off hope... to uh, film something new tonight? No, oh, it's actually night for you, isn't it? Yeah, I think Simon's already got one foot under the duvet. Night. Yeah. Heavens above! So, are you podcasting yeah. from under your duvet? I'm. I am actually sort of half reposed on it <laughs> at this moment. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll be right back. Oh, do, do you guys know? Uh, I've, I've I've been wondering if uh, Total Biscuit plays Minecraft. We we got together and worked on oh, a project what? together, but. I've been waiting for him to play so I can get him on the show because he's he's fun to talk to, but mm. but the last I heard was that he he thinks the game is silly and he doesn't understand why people like it. But but when when you guys played Magicka, did he say anything about Minecraft? Are we still on air? <laughs> oh yeah, should, we, should is this not good? <laughs> No, this is not. This is not going to be a we podcast. Can talk about it. Yeah. No, so we're, we're, the podcast is over. We're out of the show. This is, yeah. this is just a bit of live stuff at the end now. This right. is not going to go into the podcast. Exactly. Hope so yeah. relax. Yeah. Um, basically, <laughs> Total cool. Biscuits like our buddy, mm-hmm. and we're doing lots mm-hmm. of these magic videos together. And he has, you know, like categorically denied that he's ever going to do, um, m- like m- Minecraft. You know, oh, he's okay. said it so many times. I'm not going to do Minecraft. Blah, 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 blah. And you know he's one of these people who's very very stubborn, and yeah. rightly so about it. That he said I'm not going to do Minecraft, and that means he's kind of sticking to his guns on it. The more know? people request that he do it, the less likely he is to do it. Yeah, you know, right, right. He doesn't do requests. He does what he wants to do. Right. Um, he's played it, and he actually loves it. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to get him to change his mind if we can do like a, maybe a custom map with him or something. So, if mm. if if he does change his mind and end up doing some Minecrafty stuff, then you know maybe you can have him. But yeah. I think he's a bit busy doing absolutely every other every other game that has ever been made ever uh, on every console. For real, you know, he's, yeah. bu- he's a busy man. Yeah, huh. that's cool. We we were talking. Well, I don't know how much I can say on air, but yeah, okay. That's cool. <laughs> Two thousand people are listening. talking to about some secret project, were you? Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's awesome. Go on, no, go on. Secret projects. Go on, no. Well, what, no are you, what are you up to? Is it live streaming? Is it? 
Is it going to be like machinima? Is it going to be songs? This well, is what happens though when you get to be a big channel like Total Biscuits channel, on our channel. That we've just had so many contacts in the past, you know, four weeks. We've yeah. had so many yeah. calls from all sorts of and people. Then we just like, 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 them, like your and show and. <laughs> Yeah, what what other shows have you been? <laughs> what, what other shows have you been, guys? Like I I saw in your forums, I was looking around and and people were like, "Well, these guys are really making the rounds." Uh, but what other shows were you on recently? Uh, we were on one of our uh, friends' podcasts, Mark Terpster, hmm. the incredible podcast of amazing awesomeness. We were on Nordrassel Radio, which is like a big wow radio thing. Um. It's our second show on Pete, there, and Pete they basically Tasty gave Morgan. us a show to do. Oh, yeah. So it was just us doing it, and it was nuts. It was completely nuts. We oh, obviously want to be able to put out lots and lots of content in any form that people like it. So we had a podcast, and we, we regularly did lots of podcasts last year. And that's kind of stopped to some degree. The reason we started the podcast was because we had a lot of leftover footage from when we were chatting and we didn't really have any videos to put it on. So when we first started making videos, we were doing like boss kills and there were only a certain amount of bosses that we actually managed to kill. Therefore, we ended up with a lot of extra audio footage <laughs> that we turned into a podcast. Um, but nowadays, we're doing much more YouTube stuff where we're talking a lot with each other all the time. We kind of, if we have spare audio, it goes into the videos rather than on the podcast. So therefore we decided what we wanted to do was we wanted to try and get in touch with people who do podcasts like you guys mm -hmm. because, you know, that way we can have a nice chat with you and, you know, that's audio content for, for people to listen to on the bus on the way to work or something. Yeah. Um, whereas they can't watch our videos in that sense, can they? Right. So, yeah, thank you for having us. It's a real pleasure. And it's always good because... You, Doing these kind of things, you never know what, what kind of questions you're going to ask or what, where the conversation is going to go. Oh, and it's always very yeah. interesting. Yeah. And you guys are really nice guys. And I think it's good. You, to were, have you were really nice. We were really rude. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I think it's. it's yeah, we, we knew you guys were going to be funny coming on. You weren't rude at all. Yeah. Um, one question I had if, um, you know, of course, like us, you know, we kind of promoted the little Minecraft con thing. Uh, even if, you know, if, if y'all make it, that would be awesome if it gets big and huge. Um, but if not, would you guys be willing to do like a, a video chat with, um, some people at our, um, at the convention? Like if I were to set up a big digital projector and have some questions from the audience, stuff like that, would you be willing to do something like that? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. totally. Cool. cool. It would be 100%. like a webcam or something. Yes. You guys might have to get in the vicinity of one another. <laughs> Would that be okay? You'll have to I think we can handle something like that probably, by all means, yeah. yeah. Um, we definitely want to do more live thing. stuff. Yeah. If the, the, Sometimes the, it, it's quite, being self-employed is quite a lot of work to motivate yourself to do stuff. So <laughs> if I can book dates uh, in terms of like things like this, that we have, we do this at this time, we do this at this time, this night, it always yeah. makes us do stuff and that's better, mm. I think. <laughs> yeah. Also, Especially with if, Simon. Ha have you guys <laughs> wanted to do any like scripted stuff, machinimas, uh, stuff like that? Um, the movie. I don't know. I mean, about the whole thing about our series is that you know you look at some of these like really good horror films, how they were made and how they were directed, and the cast members weren't told what was going to happen, and some some zombie jumps out of the wall or whatever and you know mm. the the reactions of the actors are genuine and I think that's what gives our story quite a bit of charm I mean me and Simon aren't really actors in a sense we don't yeah. you know the reactions that we have to stuff happening in the series is genuine and that's kind of I think that adds to it a lot if we knew exactly what was going on if we started sort of scripting it very heavily then you know it probably w wouldn't be as good as it is right um, right yeah. But I think I think machinima is something that we could probably do more of. I'm not very good with the old video editing, if I'm honest. Um, a lot of people who've done all the cutscenes and things in our series have been done by by other people. So you know, the entry to the to the, the entry where the Zeppelin crashes was done by Vareed, whose video is like front paging Minecraft.net um, at the moment, mm. and it's had like four million views. Wow. Um, 
and the animation was done by a guy called Blake Evans, who's a really talented guy. He's done like animated ads on, for television and stuff like that, and he's a fan. So hmm. it's I think using the community is so powerful because hmm. that's pretty much what M Minecraft has done to be famous. They don't have a publicity department. Mm -hmm. They just have a really powerful community and a viral you know, way of spreading the news. And all these people have come to it from that sense. And we're doing the sort of the same thing, that people have sent us artwork, and that means we've got so much artwork that we can put a splash screen, a different splash screen at the start of every video. Um, and I love putting the fan art there. I think it's fantastic. Mm. And I'd love to say to people, thanks for this. And people could say, you know, my art was featured on the Oxcast or whatever. It helps them out. It helps us out. It's great. And I'd love to get you know, more animations. And yeah, like you said, Machinima potentially going. If we could maybe get uh, like, you know, this, this, this guy, Blake, to do more animations for us, I think he... he he wouldn't probably do it for free, but you know we could <laughs> come to some Very arrangement. Very time-consuming. Um, we yeah. we think, might yeah. we might do a radio play sometime down the future, and and you might be uh, requested to come in and play parts in our radio play. By the way, oh yeah, that'd be cool. Do some voices. <clears throat> we did our, our last big podcast was called Control Point. It was a Team Fortress Two podcast, and episode fifty and one hundred of those shows were feature length. Yeah. radio dramas. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's a lot. Oh wow. Okay. Well, by all means. I mean, I. I we're on live then. <clears throat> the live radio play, like in the old days. No, no. This is. Now this is all. Yeah. In, uh, you know, scripted and recorded Put together. Yeah. 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 Okay. We had Total Biscuit in in uh, in the episode 100 play. He played uh, a Cockney. Remember? Really? Yeah. I he was stuck that. in the a belly cockney? of a whale. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. He did it. He did it. Uh, you're American. You probably Ayo, wouldn't have realized. Ayo, <laughs> fucking Geordie. It was, <laughs> it was really funny. It was awesome. Wait, hey, man. It's the apples and pears, isn't it? <laughs> like D Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> cockney accent. Yeah. Thing is, we couldn't do it live, Simon, because you'd, you'd be like trying to do Professor Griswold and he'd turn into a Dalek halfway through. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we got to write that into the script. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Well, oh man! Well, then <laughs> I'm ready to stand up from this chair and yeah. when move a little. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. We should we should bring it to a close because I kind of want to go to bed. Yeah, yeah. half eleven. EM here, so it's quite late actually. Well, we won't keep you guys any longer. Just uh, uh, thank you again. We appreciate it so much, and uh, we'll be in contact. Uh, like I said, it's great working with uh, everybody from the community as much as possible. Yeah, it's an absolute pleasure, guys. Thank you for having us. Cool, you guys. Okay. Rock. get out. some sleep. Here, I'll play you out. <laughs> yeah, that's that's your <laughs> outro music. <laughs> that's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> it's generous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we we got to get him to say, uh, you know, this, this, oh, this yes. is, I'm Simon. This is Lewis, and you're and listening, you're listening to, to the shaft. The yeah. shaft. Yeah, you got to do a. Yeah, you want to do that? Got to do a bumper. That'd for be us. cool. That'd be fun. And then we'll let you go. We swear. <laughs> okay. Do you want to go, Simon? We've been not very good at this. So we might have to do a few takes. That's totally fine. I'm Simon, and I'm Lewis. And you're listening to the show. The show. <laughs> that was terrible. Um, you're listening to the shaft. Is it shaft or shaft? Because I say shaft. I, I either way. Shaft. Yeah. Shaft. shaft. We're Americans. We yeah. we don't put use in our words either. Yeah, we only say shaft. Shaft. The shaft. The shaft. The shaft. I don't know. The shaft. However. I like the shaft. See, oh. I've, you're confused now. That's <laughs> <laughs> the name of your podcast. Uh, we've no, we've but... not had an answer. I don't know. Are we just going to keep calling it something different, each of us? Yeah. All right, yeah. let's try again. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hello, I'm Lewis. And I'm Simon. And you're listening to the shaft. To the shaft. We're terrible. We're terrible. I don't think we can do it in time. I don't think we can do it in time because it's no. not. There's a delay. Yeah. 
I like exactly what you said. That's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that's that okay? Great. Yeah. Okay. Fabulous. <laughs> awesome. Fabulous. Thank you guys. Cool. Oh. <laughs> now go cuddle up under <laughs> your divan and get some sleep. <laughs> yeah. Can we go now. Okay. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. And I'm gonna step out too for a second because I need to stand up. Yeah, and I'm gonna. Oh, that was awesome! I love those guys. Yeah, yeah. those guys are awesome. That I'm gonna excellent. go home and cook my family some dinner. That was excellent. Well, it means I need to listen to the entire show again, which means I'm gonna be playing Minecraft. <laughs> I mean, I don't have to listen to the whole show if there's no like bleeping going on, but I have to listen to every word now, <laughs> <laughs> as if I didn't already hear it today. I figured once there's one curse, it doesn't matter. You might as well drop the bottle on this one. Right? <laughs> Put a tag on it. Oh, man. Our chairs decided to, like, gather. They weren't like this earlier, were they? Yeah. They were. I thought here Brian was out here fucking with shit before I asked. You put on some tunes? Yeah. <coughs> oh. Dun, 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 dun. I really liked the uh, the robot song. Can I not cue these things out? Let's do this. And That was a ton of fun. We're gonna go for like a couple minutes, but we'll be back. It sucks, I can't queue up songs. So it's gonna play one song and stop, sorry. I'll be right back. <laughs> 